Hello everyone, welcome. We're doing Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid today, a board game slash miniatures game that has us playing uh, Power Rangers against any number of minions, enemies, villains, etc. I'm personally ecstatic about it, not just because of Power Rangers, because that was a fun part of my childhood, but like not, it, I never like, stayed in, which apparently the comics are awesome, the extended, like everything is really great with Power Rangers. Uh, but just getting to play a game like this, like a lot of the time we're uh, doing more head-to-head -head stuff, we're playing like the Marvel Champions, and it's very much like a card-based, you know, text and efficiency. And this is a little bit more, uh, I guess I'd say visceral. There's a lot more miniatures on the table. I see all my, my putty patrol over here, and I'm going to uh, basically fight my heart out until I win the game. Yeah, I think the, the game itself just creates uh, a very unique experience and environment where... It's very laid back. I don't know how to explain it. It's not even casual. It's just like uh, the theme itself, I think, and the way it's presented just makes it where you can't help but have a good time. So I'm excited. Last week, Renegade announced a new product coming out. Um, so we haven't even gotten the second phase yet. They did a second Kickstarter. Um, and then after that phase, they announced the thing coming after that, which is an unlikely allies pack with some exclusive stuff. Um, and that kind of got us back in the, the Power Rangers mood. Haven't really looked at it since around the time it came out last August. Um, so we're playing some of the, the heroes and the villains are in the deck that we have yet to, to play against and kind of revisiting this ahead of the expectation is that Phase 2 is going to be arriving next month in March. Yeah, and let's not sleep on uh, the fact that we can all really appreciate Zach's paint jobs here. <laughs> done, a great, done a great job so far. They're not mid, bad, they're, not they're, bad. I mean, they're mid paint job. Uh, this is base coat level the on some of them. Black Ranger and Yellow Ranger here, not bad at all. Looks like this one could use a little work. Yes. Uh, a little bit of on the shield there. But you know what? <laughs> uh, you know, like you said before we started, we were giving you some, we were harassing you a little bit for uh, not having finished the painting. Uh, but I haven't done any painting. Zero. So, joke's on me. Technically, I am the least uh, effective painter at the table. So I can't be cast in any shade, throwing any shade, yeah. casting any stones, whatever the, the it's, saying is. It's a lot of work, and it's interesting because we know we have the Zero Rangers coming in the phase two. And there's going to be, uh, one thing I wanted to do is, as you can see, like the two Black Rangers here have uh, paint on them. I, I do base coat first, and then you go back in and clean it up and do a bunch of detail and shading and highlighting and all that kind of stuff. But we're less than a month away from getting more Rangers that match these colors. And so, like, I wanted to paint as many of them at the same time as possible because the color changes based on how much you water it down, how many layers you do. Right. And so, obviously, if you have five Black Rangers, it's way easier to paint those five at the same time because you have a lot of the same colors going Yeah, on. it's like doing all your stormtroopers at the yeah. same time. Um, so we, we know we have the Zeo and the Tommy pack coming in the second second wave, so uh, I'm still, I'm way, not even close to, to, to done. <laughs> I've only just begun to yeah, paint it's these only, Power Rangers. Yeah, and then I look at like all the, the minions and the villains and stuff and it's like, those I'm not even planning on painting until ever. Yeah, like, I, mean, I think it's fine to have them like this. Yeah. Although it would be nice. This is all painted up. Somebody who like, yeah. and I know there's people out there, you guys have spent the time to paint all of this stuff up and I'll bet it looks phenomenal. Yeah, and some uh, of the stuff like the, the putty patrollers, yeah. those would be a lot easier. So like you would just do a gray with like a wash and like some, some dry brush and highlights and it, it would be quick. Like I think I could paint those as fast as I paint two or three of these models. Yeah, that's um, totally so fair. We'll see if I ever ever get that far. Well, we're talking about the second wave and talking about Zeo. Quick reminder to anybody out there who is a Power Rangers player and is wanting to get in on that second wave. We do have a subscription service for Power Rangers. This is one of the kind of flagship kind of board game style uh, subscriptions for us. We also have the one for Wingspan. And we actually have an exclusive. We've got three exclusive panic tokens that are going to be shipping with that second wave of product here at the next subscription charge, which is coming up here any any week or any two week, really. from I mean, now. I, we're obviously next week is March, um, and the expectation is this is going to arrive sometime in March. So we'll be charging, and these will be going out as soon as those are available. I wanted to show you, Bryce. Can you get me? A, can you tell me where this goes best on the board, as like a yeah, or here? Sword graveyard. Do you want me to? How about that? Nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Can you see that? So this is inspired. Jonathan did a lot of research on like the alarm system in the the Zio stuff, and mm -hmm. this was pulled an inspiration design from that source material, and I think it turned out brilliantly. So this is a slightly different variation of our panic token. It looks like there's essentially this siren spinning around, which is if you're familiar with the lore, very familiar with the lore, and by that I mean like obsessively familiar with the lore. Uh, you'll probably recognize that. And I, Jonathan, I couldn't even find this when I did a quick scan, so I'm sure it comes from the deep cuts of whatever it is that you were into. 
Uh, but that's shipping the where there's three of these that are coming in the second wave of uh, this Power Rangers subscription. And then after that, it's all standard products as you'd expect. So if you want in on that, grab an exclusive, grab the second wave, including any of the uh, you know the crazy stuff that Renegades, including with the Kickstarter, all that's included in your sub as well. So you can sign up for that and get it all in case you missed it. Yeah, and it's important to note, these are the original Panic Tokens come in the Morphin Token set and the Morphin Token uh, set. Uh, Panic Tokens are, I think, pink? On yeah, the they acrylic? are. They're kind of that so fluorescent different shape and pink. pink. Yeah. So I, I like it because it's a different color and a different design, which I'm, um, I'm excited to add those. I'm glad you like it. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully I do. All right, well, welcome, everybody. We're, we're happy that you're here. Uh, we're just going to have a great time today with some Power Rangers. We're not going to take ourselves too seriously. We've got Balkan Skull off to the side of the board. We don't have those cards to pop up on the screen, but I think Zach and I might try to get them in the game anyway. Uh, we're going to be switching Rangers if we happen to die, and so they'll be the first ones in the, in the tank. We also are uh, in store. We had a, a tap check on the beer, which we do uh, every now and again to make sure that all that is uh, appropriate and proper. And there happened to be some uh, some tester glasses, so uh, Ops brought those in for us. So cheers. Cheers. Yeah, thanks. Good thanks way to start that. a game. And uh, I guess let's hit it off. So you're kind of the rules person again. I don't know how this <laughs> continues to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but Zach's yeah, we did Star Wars CCG last week, so. Power Rangers this week. Uh, if you're watching and you're very familiar with this game and we get anything wrong, comment uh, quickly and we'll we'll address it as we're playing. Uh, but the the nature of this game is actually pretty simple. Um, so we are the the Power Rangers defending Angel Grove. As as the game goes on, more and more of the foot soldiers are going to come out. So in this case, we have the uh, Putty Patrollers and the Mastodon Troopers. Mastodons look great, by yeah, the way. They look I, so cool. I'm a big fan of those. So they're going to keep coming out and flooding the city. And essentially, when these areas of the, the board get full, that, that area becomes panicked. And if the whole board gets panicked, we lose. So if the city gets too freaked out, game over. Yeah, that's a pretty good... Uh... Pretty good rule. Yeah, and so the way we win, though, is that as we go, um, there will be a couple monsters that come out and then a, a boss, basically. So we'll fight against these bigger monsters as they're kind of you know wreaking havoc across the city, and we get to the very end and we have to defeat the, their their main boss, and then that's that's how we win the game. So, although, so it like, should feel like an episode of Power Rangers. Basically. That's the goal. Yeah. yeah, it's like ah, you have some bads, and then you have the big bad coming out at the end. Um, and then if you have never played the game, and we'll, we aren't going to necessarily just start top to bottom teaching the rules, but as we play, I think you'll be able to very quickly pick up all the information. That's right. I'm playing both the Yellow Rangers, <coughs> Trini Kwan and Jack Thomas. And then, Zach, you're playing a couple of Black Rangers over there, aren't you? Zach, Zach and Taylor. Vesper Vasquez. That's right. And so we're actually playing two players, and the rule book, as I uh, have it here, has a handful of basically non-standard rules that come with that. And so we haven't featured two player on the stream. I'm going to keep this handy just so we uh, don't get anything wrong. So one of the first things is that there's two action tokens in the middle, which are going to allow Steve and I throughout the game to take free recover actions on various turns, um, which is going to be pretty helpful. Or not. Or I've never used them. Not once in my life playing this tokens. game. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll need them where we want. Uh, we also normally have a deck of 10 cards for our rangers, which represents the cards that we can play, but also our health. Um, each of us, in this case, plays two rangers. Our rangers are going to move together. They're going to fight together. That means we have a 20-card deck. Normal hand sizes are seven or a five, and in this case, we're going to have seven. Uh, and then we also only have two standard actions per round. We each get two stored energy, though, one for each of our rangers. And that's really about it. There's, uh, let me make sure there's nothing going on here besides that. Uh, that's that's more or less uh, that's, that's the, the case. Yep. That's all we need. So we're gonna start, and we'll start uh, like you. Hi, do. David. All I was like, oh, sorry, hey, talking, where, to the, uh, talking to the stream there. Yeah. <laughs> He's out there in cyberspace, <laughs> like, <"What>? man. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's um, the internet. <laughs> so we have a deployment deck that we built before we got on stream. So you're basically gonna flip the top card of that deployment deck over. Okay, here we go. Ready? All right, so it shows one putty patroller, and then you look, the top of the deck shows, what's the location there? Resistance hideout. So you'll put a putty patroller at the resistance hideout. So we're going to do this five times that on was the first handy. thing. All right, count for me. Two. Ooh, resistance hideout again. So two Macedon troopers going to the resistance hideout. That's the second flip. Third flip, two more Macedon troopers at Angel Grove Park. I love these troopers <laughs> uh, so much. They're like oversized guns. Number four, two putty patrollers at the Zord Graveyard. And then finally, two Macedon troopers at Ernie's Juice Bar. So we have a full spread here, Hanging don't out we? at the Juice Bar. The, the game we played on the stream last time, I think they piled into one location. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a bit more of a challenge. So that's the deployment. Deployment is done. And now we're on to the Rangers phase. So we each have two actions, and we can use those uh, in any way that we want, back and forth, all at the same time, whatever. 
Um, worth noting that uh, our rangers do move and attack together, and the three actions that we can do are move, attack, or recover. I want to say hello to Dan listening as well while uh, painting Legion, Star Wars yeah, Legion. Yeah, he was so saying that he sure bought this nice for his one. son, and, and we're basically looking for a way to learn how to play, and here he is watching the stream, so that's, that's awesome. James also, James Parsons also said Green Ranger would be the beer drinking ranger. I have, I have a feeling Balkan and Skull might get into the, the hooch every now and again as well. <laughs> I mean, just, yeah. Just a, just a no thought. <laughs> All right, what's the next thing we do? We need to decide we we what we do, action, right? So we can do whatever we want. So um, Smart Money says, this is a five panic, six, six, five. Both the fives have an equal or greater number of patrollers to everything else, so I feel like we should easily do a move attack on separate locations, resistance hideout and Ernie's juice bar. The real question is who's tough enough to take on three troopers and who's not tough enough to take on three troopers? Or if we're both tough enough, because that's the kind of people we are, we could roll off to see who goes where, or we could just decide like civilized human beings. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I think either of us are capable. I have one defender and one attacker, basically, and I think you're kind of in the same boat. I, oh man, this is great. So hold on, so we can use these abilities no matter whose cards they are, right? Yep. As long as it's a card for the deck. Okay, so I've got, a, I've got a potentially great play. Who's most likely to have guard, you think? Did the, did the putty patrollers have guard? They... I know that they do sometimes. I think they had some. I can't remember if it was the putty patrollers or the super putty patrollers. All right, well, hey, I'm going to take, take it off. Yeah, I'm going right. to take it off. You're going to move the yellow rangers. And to be clear, you don't have to play, if you're playing two rangers, you don't have, you can play any two rangers you want. We just happen to pick the same color rangers. All right, I'll go. Uh, my hammer man is going to give a He looks oratory. like he's giving a speech. <laughs> <laughs> and if this doesn't work, the hammer. And then uh, I'm probably going to fight. Uh, do you want to take an action before that? Or do you want to see how this resolves? I feel like because we only each have two actions, right? Mm -hmm. That it makes sense for me to move and attack at a different location. Yeah, 100%. So why don't we just see how this goes for me? All right, second action, I'm going to initiate an attack. I'm going to see if I can clear out this resistance hideout. And uh, tell me what happens next. Okay, so you're attacking, and you can choose up to four foot soldiers, or four enemies to fight. So in this case, Those uh, three. there's only three foot soldiers. So there's two Mastodon troopers and one Putty Patroller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, they each have a deployment deck, basically, or an attack deck. So is I'm there gonna... a good place for this camera? We're, we, yes, we're going to zoom out. Okay. So I'm going to put two Can you of put these... him in front of me? Sure. Does that ruin the shot? Nope. Is that okay? So the first one here is going to be shot. the blaster rifle from the Mastodon Trooper deck. Um, then we're going to get another Mastodon Trooper. Um, it is another blaster rifle. They seem to have a lot of rifles. And then we're going to get the uh, Putty Patroller card, which is flanking. And I don't know what any of these do. So the basically, you can have up to four enemies, and they form a single line that you're going to fight against. Um, you'll notice in each of these top left corner of each of these cards, they have a health value. That's how much damage you have to do to, to remove that card. And then they have ability or text that's happening. Now, important to note on flanking, it's a passive. So what does that passive say? It says, while this card's in play, each time another enemy card deals damage, increase it by one. This is an incredible draw. It's so two damage, two damage, increase everything by one. That's incredible. Yep. And so the kind of flow of how this is going to work is the rangers get the first action during an attack, unless one of the enemy cards had fast, which none of these did. So we'll cover that if we get to it. Um, so what's going to happen is you'll get an action, which is you can play a card from your hand. Um, then they'll get an action. When they go, you start with the leftmost card, and it exhausts like this, turns sideways, and then this resolves. So we yeah. deal two damage, and it's boosted because of this one. Now, if you do three damage to this, it actually flips over, and then when you get to this card in the line, it exhausts, and then nothing and happens. And it does nothing, So yeah. you're just buying yourself time. It's a, so it's kind of fun because, I mean, it's very fun, not kind of fun. Hmm. But it's, sort of it's one of these games, and Champions does this. Arkham is more story-driven, so it's less this. Um, there's kind of a static puzzle in front of me, and now it's my job to like solve it. Yep. And there's not a lot of variables that happen, aside from my dice rolling, which is not super variable in this game. The average so, is about one per die. Also, uh, when you start a fight in two-player, you get three shared energy. So, technically so I've got so much energy, it's out the, of control. You're the only ranger, but you have three energy there, and you have your two stored energy. And remember, any energy not used at the end of the round can be stored, and you can store up to two energy. Okay. So let's start with my first attack. I'm going to pay one energy for a saber-tooth strike. Okay. It's a two-die attack. 
And it says if this attack defeats the target, you may immediately perform a second attack with two dice. Okay, sweet. Are you ready? Are you? What are you attacking? I'm gonna. So there's also this double strike ability, which I need your clarification on. I okay. know you're a real savant when it comes to the uh, the timelines here. <laughs> it says once per battle, after you play a card, you may immediately play another card with the same name. Yep. So would I do that after I do the dice rolling or before? You play the card, resolve it all the way, and then you have the option to do it again. You said it with such confidence. I love that idea. Yeah. Sabretooth Strike. That is Triniquan's ability called Double Strike. So I do have another Sabretooth Strike. That's and awesome. And this says if it defeats a target, I can perform a second attack with two dice. I'm going to try to defeat this two health flanking. Get a free two. Get a free two, then play another Sabretooth Strike. Kill that one, and then get a free two dice that attack would be on the blaster. Wouldn't that be incredible? Turn. Yeah, that would be pretty epic. It would also be very thematic, because she's the one with the daggers. Yeah. So it's like she's just like stabbing around. That's pretty sweet. Now, we know how. I'm never going to make this. I will say, historically on video, Steven's rolls in this game. Hey! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's really good. The... Say what you got, the oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, so I got two hits there. Obviously, it worked out. Two hits for a two health flanking. I was watching back that initial how to play video we did. Yeah. You rolled the four blue dice and blanks, <laughs> and we all just like <laughs> start dying, laughing, and hands to face. Okay, so you did two damage, and then it says if you defeat an enemy, you get to make a free two dice attack. If I defeat the target, I get a free two dice attack. Okay. So let's start with this first blaster rifle. One damage. One damage. Using our handy dandy morphin tokens compatible with Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. <laughs> and, and now a word from our sponsors. And then Trinaquan's ability double strike. So I can immediately play a second copy for an additional uh, one cost there. Man, what a turn. So here comes two dice. Now if this hits gold here, if we get two hits or more. You get another free attack. I get another free attack. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Only one. Just one. Boom. But still, that's a that's a pretty effective turn. I can't my, I can't hate it. Ranking. I can't hate it. All right, so these guys get discarded. And now we have the first resolution of the enemy, right? Yep. So blaster rifle is going to deal two damage. I've gotten rid of the passive already, so two damage comes to me, which means I discard the top card of my deck. Now, because I have you the power of Power Rangers, Jack Thomas has an ability called Steadfast. Each time you suffer damage before revealing cards for defense, I can choose one from my hand and place it on top of my deck. Wow. So I know I'm taking two damage. If I put a three on top, then it will go to the bottom. Yeah, so the way it works if Boom. we'll just show it. Uh, so you're defending, you flip cards from the top of your deck, and of course you've got to pick this. So the first one is Headbutt. And on Headbutt, you'll notice that it has a three shield in the bottom right corner. Three shields in the bottom. So because you're taking two damage, uh, you blocked for more than you needed to, so it's actually going to loop around to the bottom of your deck. And if I run out of deck, I die, right? Isn't that the way you're I lose? You're defeated, yes. Uh, I can't see how you don't die in Power Rangers. Of course yeah. not. That's it's like not reasonable. comic book heroes and stuff. You don't die. You just get knocked out. Okay, so now I have another uh, option here. Yep, and you have one, two damage here, but it's already gone. So getting rid of that card. Oh, also, we forgot. You got rid of a Putty Patroller. So we take it off the board, and it's going to go to the Power Board. Right and on. Once that gets six uh, defeated Foot Soldiers on it, we will power up to the next Power Stage and get the top uh, Zord. It took me a second. I was going to say Morphin. I was like, that's not it. Okay. All right, let's see. You got some more cool moves. Not not cool enough. Uh, let's do... Let's do a... And I could also... See, you can also just kind of pack it up, you know? <laughs> uh, let's try a headbutt here. I don't like to use this, but it's uh, two dice, and after I resolve it, if it had the guard keyword, it goes back to my hand, which is really what you should be holding this card for. Yeah. But it's about the only thing that I can do with my, my moment here. So let's do it. Sometimes you get three health, right? Sometimes you Definitely. get three. You can get three. Two. How about two? There's that. Ding! Close. And then it rolls to me. I can put a card on the top of my deck if I'd like, but I'm going to just take it off of the top of the deck. All right. So you're taking two damage here. And you flip the top card of your deck. Can I, can I Twin Fang teamwork with myself? Play this card after another Ranger resolves an attack? I don't think so. I'm not another you Ranger. You count right? as the... The person that... So I need you to be in my location. Yep. All right, the Cryus Cannon gets discarded for two shields to block that two damage. And because it was equivalent, it's actually going to just go to your discard pile. That is correct. You need so, a Blade Blaster for two right here. That's exactly what I need. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. 
All right, so last up, I'll play this Precise Strike. Okay. It does two damage right off the bat, and then I can spend an energy to shuffle it back into my deck instead of discarding it. That's pretty good. Which I will do, but I can't split that, right? I've got to do yeah. two somewhere. Let's do it to this Mastodon Trooper. Okay. You want to drop him over on the power board? Absolutely. Get this Mastodon over here. And then Putty Patroller number three will go and do nothing. And then I have a last chance, but I don't have any damage cards in my hand. That's still pretty good. You yeah, can, my you double. Two. Make sure. Nope. Okay. Yeah. So if you're passing, the damage is going to clear. All these cards go back to their respective decks, and these will get shuffled up. And boom, then boom, boom. You have used both of your actions, right? And then yeah. you technically you didn't spend your two stored energy, so that's just going to sit there. And then I'll just reset these for you, just for when that time comes, which I know is happening. It very is soon. happening. Okay, so I agree with you. I think me going over to the juice bar, it has the. If you look at the bottom right corner, it has a five, which is the figure limit. Um, so going over to the juice bar, huh? That's right. I'm thirsty. It must be pretty hip. So Zach and Vesper, I'm gonna go hang out at the juice bar. Seems right. I'm just gonna face these <laughs> up because it's what needs to happen. Uh, then I'll spend my second action here. This is my energy. It's not my actions. Doing it all wrong. <laughs> James. To attack, yeah, who's the designated Great, yeah, yeah, driver? Designated Megazord driver, that's hilarious. David, good to see you. We'll see you later on. You'll be watching this later, apparently. If you don't hear me say this to you, then you lied to me. Which I hope you don't. Ooh, hold on a second. <laughs> Found out some rules. Uh -oh. It's fine. Blaster Strike. Deal two damage to each ranger. But if they're, if they're considered... Uh, counted separately, then wouldn't that uh, reaction card Maybe. work? Yeah. So what was your reaction card? It does one damage. To You'd have to play that, though. What, who owns that card? Uh, it's got to be Twin Fang. Uh, Trini? Trini, yeah. So did the did Jack do the other that's one? What, that's what we should totally do. Yeah, Jack did the headbutt. OK, well, let's say you did that. Yeah, I like that. So we actually need to decide who's doing what, then. It's like whoever plays the card yeah. is the ranger doing it. That actually makes that awesome that they can yeah. do that. OK, great. I'm just going to reconstruct this moment. Well, so that'll two, do two blaster rifles. That'll do the one damage I needed, and then okay, I would have cool. taken two instances of two. So one for the three and one for the two. I think we did it then, because like the one would have been dead before it. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Because it would have right. followed up. We're, with the we're one. back. We're we're back on track. That's even better actually, because now this guy's gone, and everything's done. Oh wow, that's really good. We did it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that was better. Utter victory. <laughs> All right, mine. I'm gonna. I just realized Vesper's ability here is cry havoc. If there are three more enemy figures in my location, reduce the energy cost of all my cards by one. Oh I my probably gosh! Have why to didn't the three we? Zone. Why are we yeah. not thinking? Reading. How That's does the it point work? of these yeah. games. Yeah, thinking. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're learning. Okay, uh, so I'm going. I'm fighting. There's two mastodon <laughs> troopers. So I'm gonna flip over the two cards. Uh, the first one is armored assault. The second one is Alpha Strike. So Armored Assault has Guard. It says roll two dice and deal that much damage to a single Ranger. Alpha Strike has Fast. So when you play a Fast card, it actually moves all the way to the far left of the That's a cool lineup. little combo they just spit out at you there. It's Guard and Fast. Uh, and then Fast says deal four total damage divided among the Rangers as they choose. So the other thing about Fast is normally the Rangers get the first action during a fight. But when there is a fast, any, even if there's just one fast card, that means that the enemy gets to go first. Man, this is devastating. So this too. is very bad. Uh, that doesn't do. We anything. got you, Ed. Ed the Mad on uh, Twitch. And then Kay, thank you so much. We appreciate that. And letting us know. Okay, so I have three energy over there. Um, let me see. He's gonna go fast. Four total damage to my rangers. So. Uh, the, it's not that relevant because I have the same deck, but if, if we were both in the same location, we'd have to decide who's taking the damage. So I'm going to take four, just straight off the you're top. you're going to take four, yeah. Uh, blocking for two. Two. Don't, don't flip a one. Flip to three. Oh, that's so, so that's good. that's one over, so my three is actually going to go back to the bottom of the deck, which is really good. Uh, and that has exhausted, so I literally am only going to get two actions this attack round. Wow, yeah. And he's got guards, so I'm going to You better just, give him the goods. That is the plan. I think I can get rid of both of these, though. You know what I mean? So the Hip Hop Keto on Zach Taylor's card, the ability there, what does yep. that do for you? Once per battle, after I defeat an enemy card with an attack, I may deal one damage to another enemy card adjacent to the target. That's helpful. Yep. And what, Vesper, three or more, or minus one. Okay, yep. yeah, we totally punted that one, didn't we? Yeah, I could have taken the three on, I think, way easier. But you had a, you did it's, well. It's like we're playing that Dallas Cowboys football now. Yep. <laughs> hey, I'm on the same page. 
<laughs> all right, let's do this. I'm going to use all three of these the uh, shared like energy. I just you know it's the first to thing play the coyus axe. So can you flip over all three of those for me? All three of what? All three of the energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three of what? <laughs> Uh, so this reads, attack, it's four dice, and it says, after I resolve this attack, deal one damage to each enemy card that has already resolved. Oh, nice. So I'm going nice. to do four here. I'm going to roll four dice here. If oh I can my get gosh. three, I would do one to this, and I would trigger my ability to get rid of it. Big moment. So I just need a big old three here out of four. Big moment. You got that. That's easy. It's impossible to fail at this. Not even imaginable. <laughs> it's one. <laughs> Your luck has... <laughs> Has rubbed off on me. I'll put those dice away. All right, uh, then we're gonna go to so Armored Assault. <laughs> Don't you love it? Because like you can see it, you can see it in the show where it's like, oh yeah, this is exactly the moment that I'm gonna be awesome, and then all of a sudden, just failure. That's what creates the tension of a true heroic story. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> what mm -hmm. is success without? Failure? I'm just reading my cards here for a second before I. Just pack this one up, man. Nope, just nope. Okay, walk out of the I'm rolling two dice now. I'll roll these fancy dice that I just rolled. And I take that much damage. This, this is where you're going to get the double assault. twos. In it. Two on the money. So I'm taking two. I'll flip the first card. It's a three. Oh, you're lucky. In some ways. Not in others. Okay, then it exhausts. So then I have one, one action left. Um, and I still haven't triggered that, which I really want to. It doesn't matter if you can't kill it, right? Or defeat it, excuse me. You're, you're two away from both, if I'm not mistaken, which is just a total bummer. You had the play, it just, it didn't work. It's that thinking and bets mentality, Zach. We talked about it on the podcast. You made the right play. Doesn't, yep, but, but it, it just didn't work didn't out. It didn't work. <laughs> it did not. I agree with you. Uh, Ryan Kelly, I, I hope it is too, being demoed at PAX East. This one's got a slow burn on it. It's not going anywhere. I, and they continue to release good content for it. Also, there's a bunch of custom scenarios that are coming out. Uh, fun That's really fact, cool. They do a monthly PDF scenario for the yeah. game. I actually couldn't find it on the website. In, in, it's it, on their blog. Initially, but then I just searched Power Rangers Scenarios Renegade, and it took me right to it. Uh, a lot of times, I use Google as like a website searcher more than I do anything else, even for our own site. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of embarrassing. Um, so yeah, it, it is great. I hope it'll be at PAX East as well. Matis, uh, is it good? Or Matis, is it good? Yes. Parker uh, responding, I agree. It's really f uh, fun, not super complicated, just fun. It is just fun, yeah, isn't it? It is just fun. It's super fun. It's a game where I can miss as bad as I just missed and not be upset about it. Ed the Mad's it. got you. And we got a strong contingent on Twitch. You you two are are killing it on the chat there. They're in this with us. It's like... First ah. hand. All right, uh, I'm going to take my last action here. We're going to go Cerebrus Fang. Cost me, I'm going to use one of my stored energy this time. It's just a three die attack. Yo, Case Head, you still get one damage on the Alpha Strike, even if you missed. What? You still get the one damage uh, because the card says do the one damage, not if you hit a certain amount, do one damage. The the one you played, the original, yeah, the axe. The axe. After you resolve the attack, do oh, one damage. Yeah, that makes yeah. it way better, so you could potentially do it again. Party. P -p -p Hold on a second. Let me put the Cerebrus <laughs> Fang back in my hand. I have a better card now. You shut down. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play Blade Blaster for two. I'm going to do two damage to the Armored Assault. Oh, nice. So it's going to defeat that. And then... I'm going to flip Zach over. Taylor's ability. Zach Taylor's hip-hop keto. Uh, going to get the other one. So both of these enemies are going to go away and go on the power track. We are one away from You're a Zord. A true hip-hop kiddo. <laughs> John on that first video is like, a hip-hop kiddo <laughs> every time. Okay, so we will reset. I, I was out of energy, so I'm just out of luck here. Yeah, so we're going to reset our actions. Any weird end of term cleanup stuff that we need to worry about? Just, Anything here? Nope, just resetting the actions. That's it. And we're, that's that simple, uh, huh? So then we're back to the deployment phase. And here we go. And it, so you're going to flip the first card over, and we're going to party on. I want to, before I do, James Parsons talking about Vampire the Masquerade. I'm super interested in this. The theme is to me the antithesis of anything I enjoy. But. The system itself is another Richard Garfield game. It has a long-standing, super dedicated community that were in love with this game. You can play it up to five people. Oh, really? And you only play against the person to your left. So your I job is that. your job is That's to hunt like the person to your the left. Board game, right? It's like. And here's the coolest thing: at the end of the game, the number of people you defeated is the winner, even if you you were defeated yourself. 
So if I if I get the guy to my left knocked out, then I get the next guy to my oh, left. Oh really? I probably win that game. That's actually hilarious. It's super cool. That's a cool mechanic. But it's the old Richard Garfield early days, like whoa, what were we on? We're trying to do some weird game design stuff, and so Renegade's re-releasing that potentially as an expandable game. We have got our eyes on that one, very much so. Okay, here we go. First up, we got three putties in the Resistance hideout. Luckily, I am there, ready to mop. You're ready to ready for action. Second, we have two Macedon Troopers at the graveyard. Third, we have one Trooper at the monster. The <laughs> monster? Oh, OK. <laughs> so one Macedon Trooper, and we, have, we flipped a monster. So the monster also go, go ahead and flip. Ranger Slayer and a Macedon Trooper at Angel Grove Park. <laughs> Where's the That's Ranger funny. Slayer? You don't That's have funny. it? <laughs> just pull I up do. A... No, I'm just going to oh, okay. grab it. I'll just be right back. I'm going to say we have any number of white Ranger Slayer looking she's things. She's technically... She's, 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 yeah, let's do this. Her. Let's do this. But we're going to need the other one. You think so? Well, the other monster's in the deck. At some point, the other monster will pop out. Oh, right on. Where are they? We can... Jonathan yeah. can go get that, right? Yeah, I can get that. Uh, so there's the three Power Rangers boxes on the table out there. Yep. Um, if you open them, it's... Jonathan, everybody. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Uh, if you open them, there's one that has like the, a big cyclopsis in it. Okay. They're all in that box. All cyclopsis? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so... That was third, and that automatically panics, right? That does automatically panic. There. So we'll put one of these panic tokens on One of those here. sweet exclusives on there. <laughs> did you get Jonathan in there? You did, right? No, it was right at the perfect time. I saw it. It looked great. Um, so... <laughs> fourth. And yeah? the monster doesn't count as one. Are you serious? I am serious. That counts yeah. as one deployment. The monster plus right, the right, thing right. counts okay, as yeah. one. Yeah. So this is the fourth. Two yep. putties at Ernie's. They just, they're just they just looking for some juice. <laughs> and then the last one, two putties at, at the Resistance Look at thing on the side of this box. Yeah, cool. And this is now panicked because it has five in the hole. Jonathan, everybody. <laughs> 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 James, O'Rourke, <laughs> James O'Rourke says, late to the stream, what's the story behind the Ranger colors? <laughs> Uh, the the Power Rangers just have different colors. Well, is it the ones that you're painting? Is that the I idea? I think he's giving you. I think he's jabbing you there. He's, he's giving I don't, you that doesn't feel yeah, like we're a just, jab. No, we're just painting. We're Zach's well, in the process is, of painting uh, here. The um, look at Commander Crayfish. He's so cool. What's this guy's name? This is the thing. It's uh, not Black necessary. Ryan. We need him, and we need the Ranger Slayer. You didn't have to have these. You could, this could have been a card game. And we is need. Is the Ranger Slayer? Gosh, looks insane. But my is goodness, Ranger are they not no. awesome? No, no, no. She's like the bow girl, but she's got the arm armor. Bow girl with arm armor. Uh, you can hand me the box if you want me yeah, to fish them out. Hello, yeah, evil I power. I see this one at all. That's the only one I don't see. I agree, Parker. It's sick dance moves. Oh, man, you know look why? at this box. I, I know. Is this eye guy right what here? What is this? No, this is a Ranger. Where is he at? That's Nasty Knight. It's a heck of a box. Wow. Look at All that of guy. the art on this game is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Finster's also super cool. Do you see, hey, Bryce, can you pull this eye guy up here? Uh, I can, no, we don't, we don't. Oh, on the I can put it up close to the camera. Is this helpful? Let me get it. I get it. I get it in there. Zoom. There he is. All right. Do you want me to lower it? Um, John, yeah. I actually lied to you. <laughs> it's the other box. <laughs> There's a box on my desk in there. Yes, got it. Uh -huh. It's because she's the same color as the Ranger, so I primed, I primed her because I'm going to paint her with the stuff. Oh, look at Eye Guy there. Woo! Isn't look that awesome? Look at that. Man, how cool. Some of these villains I am excited gross. to paint. Very gross. You can just drop him. You mean to drop that box? I, I found it. I got everything. You just drop him in when you're done. We're not doing crayfish this time around? <sighs> crayfish is possible. Oh, there she is. Wow, she looks awesome. Thanks, John. Mean yeah, she looks like a like a Dota style hero. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Evil Power. Who else has been going through their dead CCG collection? We've I been, have. We've been do, <laughs> doing that recently for hey, sure. I have. I have something to tell you when we're not on camera. Whoa! Don't don't let me forget. Wow! It's what an secret. interesting thing to tell me on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's about another old. A uh, card game that I have recently found my way into that I'm excited to tell you about. But if I say it publicly, is people it, will expect us to stream it. Is it a relaunch? No. Okay, it's not like actual information. It's just games that you have that you want to play. Okay. Uh -huh. It's not like actual. Is it the Star Wars trading card game? No, everyone knows about that. What, well, what is it? I mean, you can't leave us hanging. <laughs> I'm we? gonna leave them hanging. All right, oh so my hey, gosh. we're deployed here. Are we done with deployment yet? Yes, we're deployed. Well, this was convenient. Do we get cards? So you, at the start of every fight, you can draw up to your maximum hand size of seven. Oh, wow. Um, so that'll be up to you. Yeah, remember that decision point? Because the more you draw, the closer you are to the The more you draw, yeah. the more hurt you are, ultimately, yeah. Okay. So 
So that's the deployment phase. Obviously, we're going to fight, fight, move, fight. And is that max? Is that a five? Okay, so we have two panic locations. So a location only becomes unpanicked when there's nothing on, on that space. Yeah. So I feel like... I can't unpanic this, but I can prevent it from spilling over, right? We got to clear out five of these, don't we? I think it's absolutely. Too many. So what I'm thinking is, I will attack these cats to clear this space off. I'll then move to your space. You can attack this space, and that mm -hmm. way we can double double attack all five of those. We can only attack four at a time, but then you'll attack. We'll attack again to try to clear out whatever's left. I don't even think we deal with this right now. Interesting. Okay. Because she's so, going to be decently hard to defeat. Okay. Okay. The other here's the other option we have. I could attack, move, you could move, and then you could attack, and all four of us on the boss. That's the other thing we could do. I don't know what I don't know what the I don't know what the I don't know what the right answer is here. I like your plan a little bit better because it actually accomplishes an objective, which is unpanicking that location. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Do you like my plan better than yours or do you like your plan so better? So like it's possible that you could just spend well, you can't clear that off. No. I could technically fight, fight, and probably do it. I mean, the thing is the same as you could fight, and the thing I'm thinking about is like just keeping the minions off of the table. So like, I know I can clear these two out by myself, and I'm pretty sure we can clear those out. Here's okay. Here's 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 the here's where the magic is. All right. Ryan's got a new uh, update for you. Ryan's got the thing. The updated rules have each of you with three what? actions and none in the middle. I'm going to immediately make that trade. Yeah, I want three actions. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I assume Renegade uh, posted some new rules. Uh, the, those weren't for lives anyway. Oh. So it, in a two-player game, you get 20 cards in your deck, and once you're gone, it's over. Yeah, I didn't realize that until we started. School so of Hard Knocks. Bulk of Skulls, not, they're not coming out in this oh, game. So Ryan, well, tell me about these updated rules. Where do you find that? That's incredible. Not in the rule book. All right, well, hey, this opens up the game for us, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. So here's what I'm going to vote for. Attack, attack, move, attack, move, so attack. I'm going to attack, then I'm going to move to your location. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to attack. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to move, you're going to move, and then you're going to use your last action to attack. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I could do is I could attack twice and then move here. You could attack once, move there, and we'd have a free action to attack with. Do you want to kill this boss or not? Well, what I'm saying is I attack... <laughs> Right? Clear this out. I move. You do the attack you're going to do anyway, except mm -hmm. for we both get a fight. Yeah, but who needs help killing four putties? That should be, like, easy mode. Right? I've got seven cards. Hey, hey, if I can't kill four putties with seven cards, what am I doing? What do you want to put on that? I don't know. What do you want to put on it? Yeah, let's wager something. <laughs> I don't have anything of value to wager. <laughs> or at all. I have nothing. <laughs> Um, it just it would save us an action because you'd have to then take another move to move over here, whereas I can go attack, attack, move. You can yeah. go attack, well, move. I attack. definitely think I start here with an attack. Let's just start there. Let's start there. You All need right. to kill it. So I'm going to attack on Ernie's juice bar because things can always go poorly. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and draw up fully and appreciate the cards that are in my hand. Yeah, I think you probably always go. I think you always do that. Ryan, yeah, that Facebook group is the sole source of information and knowledge for this game. Uh, Melkor23, to answer your question, I'm so excited about the Innsmouth cycle for Arkham, it's hard for me to play the game at this point. <laughs> because it all seems less, so much less good than what that cycle is going to be. <laughs> the the water the investigators, cycle? I mean, if I could have even, like, if I get to play another Sailor Water Investigator that is not Silas, like, that doubles the game options for me. <laughs> <laughs> if there's three of them, then I could maybe play all three classes. I mean, it's unbelievable what happens if there's, like, an old Sailor Seeker, you know, that, like, studies the water. I mean, it would be insane to me. I would love it. I'm excited for that cycle. Okay, uh, so here I'm attacking. I get my three energy downtown, and there's energy. two putty patrollers, so I'm going to flip two cards. We get a leaping attack. Can we just put this, like, closer to us? Yeah, I, I agree. Let's just put it right here. A leaping attack. It says deal three damage. We also get a swarm attack. It says deal one damage. Increase this damage by one for each foot soldier in this location. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so there's no fast, so that means I will get the first attack. I have to decide which of these I want that to be. Zach's got to clear out the leaping attack here. That's really, you gotta do two damage somehow. I feel like that's obvious. I would concur. 
And once again, you find yourself in a location that doesn't have three or more enemies, which is a consistent, uh, consistent Part theme of, why I to hop over of Vesper. If you're inefficient to gain efficiency, what have you really gained? Wise words. <laughs> Put it on a tombstone. Um, Bury me with it. Let's do this. I'm going to play a, uh, with one of these energy, a Cerebrus Fang. It's just a three die attack. I'm going to put these God it has a star on it. Oh, it's a if, it's if you flip it on defense. Yeah. It, so just a three die attack this thing, and I'm going to attack the Leaping Attack. It has two health. Yeah, I that's what two. I'm talking about. So I will defeat this card, and I will use Zach Taylor's ability to do one damage to something next to it. Boom. Then the villains get to go. Uh, the Defeated Putty Patroller will actually go, and this will go on the, uh, hey, we power up. Hey, power up. Power, power up. up. <laughs> so we go to the next level, and we draw the top card of the Zord deck, and if it matches the color of one of our rangers, we get control of it. If it doesn't, then we will share it. Do we have the Zords in the system? We do. Zords are in the system. There's a couple Zords in there we don't have, but it's fine. And it is your Cerebrus. Is it Cerebrus or Cerebrus? Cerberus. Cer Cerberus? Cerberus. The dog. Cerberus, right, the dog. Uh, Hyper Zord. Exhaust this card to deal one damage to each up to three enemy cards. One damage to three enemies. I won't be with using that, that right here. But Incredible. In a future Zord. attack, I will. Uh, and then I get to go again. So let's see what can do. Andy Hutchinson, you're great. First of all, I see you on social a lot. Um, I can't wait to run through the Barkham Horror set either. Zach and oh. I, we so we've been really talking about wanting to do like a once a month Arkham playthrough on the stream. Um, I feel like Barkham Horror is a good one to do. It's a good one to do. The next cycle we have to do. Well, we just need to get all the cards, ultimately, because we have, like, Robert's the collector. I use his cards when I play Arkham. We and have I a don't. deal where he provides a lot of value to me, and I do nothing. Uh, and it's a really good deal for me. So I haven't bought any of the cards, and I don't want to start diving into personal collections for stream stuff, except for yours, which is always, as we know, on the table. This is where I provide value. Yeah, yeah. And you're, I'm finding myself in a lot of situations Weird. where I get everything and do nothing. It's really uh, the best way to run your life. <laughs> but um, we need all the cards, so hopefully we'll figure that out. We're and working through that Maybe right we now. just have to buy them all. I just saw Andy Hutchinson's comment where he said, think you should get your moms in for that. I, at first, I thought it was like a, a mom burn. I just saw moms, and I was like, that's not going to be a pleasant comment. And then it was actually uh, it's quite pleasant. pretty pleasant. Also, Ryan's hand, I'm subbed to you guys for the Phase 2 Kickstarter. Does that sub include the recently announced mm -hmm. Allies pack, or do I have to sign up for that something else to get it? Zach, why don't you tell me? Because <laughs> so if you sign up for I a can't subscription, keep track of yeah. all these releases. Yeah. What is going on? It's that's like, what a subscription's for. I so know. basically, if you sign up for a subscription, it's, like it's going to include up. every new release, uh, and this will also include the exclusive. So like Renegade has an exclusive. If you order the Unlikely Allies pack, I think it's by like March fourth or sixth. Um, but if you have a subscription, you're good to go. So we're expecting a charge for the Phase Two sometime in March. That'll include Phase Phase Two plus all the Kickstarter exclusives. And then sometime after that, we're going to get the Unlikely Allies. You get charged for that. You'll also get the exclusives. And you really just don't have to do anything. We got you completely covered if you have a Power Ranger subscription. Sign up and it's done. Set it and forget it. OK. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to use another energy to play another Cerebrus Fang, which is going to be another three die attack on the Swarm attack. Let's see if I can make it happen. Boom. Three, three. Cerberus. Cerberus. Cerebrus. Is it Cerberus? It's Cerberus, yeah. Cerberus. Oh, my That's goodness. Right. We didn't get where we are pronouncing Brain. things correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes away, and he's going to go on to the little power track. Also, the power level should be at one. Thank you. You're welcome. Then we're going to go back to the villains. It exhausts. It comes back to us. There's nothing for me to attack. That's going to be the end of that attack See, sequence. you were well ahead of the chain. If there had been four, you would have been fine. Well, That's what I'm saying. The good thing is there's one energy left over, so I'm going to actually make that a stored energy, which right will on. be good for me next time we go. Why don't you see one. if I can take care of four of these, and then we make a decision, right? Yeah, I, I'm with it. <clears throat> Ryan says, thanks. You guys are awesome. Uh, happy to do it. Uh, thank you for thanking us and for being a subscriber. All right, let's take a fight. Boom. Let's fight a big old mess of putties. So remember, on this, you can only fight four at one time. So even though there's five, you're not going to be able to actually completely clear this tile. Um, and there are what? Six. They're all putties. So you want to fight five, four putties? I want to fight four putties. Let me shuffle this up real quick. Hit me with the four putties. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Don't mind me. All right, so we're at the top four. We get a leaping attack. Seen Not that before. Not a problem. We get a swarm attack. Not a problem. Seen that before. 
We get another problem. swarm attack. And then finally, we get a leaping attack. So no fast, no wow. guard. This is a fun puzzle here. You got two, three, three, two on the health values going across. And then, what's that? Deal one. The increase by one for each foot soldier in the location. So that's a plus five. I think five it includes right itself, right? Yep. So five damage on both of those. Okay. That is interesting because the two would be really easy to get away, but getting hit by a five is not exactly a good times. Okay, so that's fine. Shadow nope. Slayer asking, is Thor Marvel Pack coming out early March? Yes, yeah, Street Date's March 6th. If you're a subscriber, you've already been charged and it'll be on, on the way in time to hopefully make it to your doorstep by release. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna have to think about this one for a second. Give me You're just good. a second. Not in a rush. And I'm playing like I have two hands of cards, like ranger specific cards. Yep. It's like a card that says a ranger of your choice may immediately play one card. I would have to take that card from the other ranger's card pool, basically, is the way I'm playing it. Well, it says a ranger of your choice. It doesn't say other, like a. Oh, that's true. Other. Yeah, it could be. It could yeah. be me. You could choose you. <laughs> I choose you, Pikachu. Okay, I think I can. I think I've got this in the bag. Let's take a look, though. We're gonna start out with the old Cryus Cannon, Creus Cannon, if you will. It's a one damage or a one energy attack, three dice, and if it defeats the target, deal one to an enemy card adjacent. I'm going to target the leaping attack, which is two health. Odds say three dice would hit a two health. Statistically, you're likely to hit, but statistics, you know, are statistics. Here we go. Oh, it's a three. Not a problem. All right. Leaping attack is done. Resolving the Creus Cannon here. Deal one to an enemy target adjacent. Let's deal one to the swarm attack. Okay. Not scared. Putty Patroller number one activates and does nothing. Whoosh. You're buying yourself some time there. Buying myself some time. Okay. Next up. Now we we uh, we probably do you think two dice can hit two uh, damage there? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> then no. I mean you have you have two chances at the two damage straight up, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. So that's like a thirty percent chance that one of those would hit. Your average on these is a little under one. It's five out of six. Um, so, all right. So this is my this is close. my sequence. I've got to try this. So let's pay three for the power daggers. One. That art looks awesome. Two, three. It's a four die attack, and it needs to hit well. After I resolve it, a ranger of my choice can immediately play one card. Okay. So I'm going to attack this swarm attack. So not the first swarm not attack. Not the, the first second one. Swarm attack. The second swarm attack. Because afterwards I can immediately play one it's card. It's a dangerous game you're playing here, Bully. It's not that dangerous. When you hit three damage... Whoosh. <laughs> immediately play one card. So, and technically two of these guys should be over on the power yep, board, so right? We need to... We're charging I, up. I need to feel my energy. Uh, so I'm going to immediately play a... Headbutt. This is the gamble. Feeling lucky? Two dice attack at this swarm attack right here. Mm, I see the dilemma from earlier. Just here comes two damage. Have faith. Here comes two damage. Oh, yeah. Without Not a even doubt. close. Three. See you later. That's another putty out, off the table. He doubted me. All right, putty patroller number two goes. Finally, can he do two damage? Hopefully he can with a ram rush. All right, with final going on? energy, three die attack. All right, that's all that it is, and this will be a, f a full clear of the board. Ram rush, here we go. Need to hit two, and we Ooh, hit, hit four. four. Boom! That's another putty over on the power board. <sighs> Feeling good? Yeah, man, that was a moment in the Power Rangers universe. You, you cleared house. You, you delivered. So then there we go. There. You are uh, out of energy, though. Yeah. Okay. And then that doesn't matter. None of these I want to play. So I'll pass. They'll go. I'll pass. Game over.
Game over. See you next week. It's game over, man. It's game over. Uh, Ryan, any chance I can see one of those new panics up close? Sure. Sure, we can zoom in. Give me, where's your, where, where's my hand need to be? All right. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this next level production. <laughs> zoom. You got seven people working behind these cameras. Oh, wow. Let me tell That's you. Like, pretty close. <laughs> this is uncomfortably <laughs> close. Uh, ooh, look at that. See how it catches the light? I don't, but I believe you. If you look up there, you'll see it. In 10 minutes. Ooh, this is good. Ryan says, I uh, could be wrong. I, I bet you're right. The enemies come off the board at the end of the battle, not during, because of the effect of some enemy cards based on how many there are. Okay. So I'm does that mean that, that if you, even if you defeat a putty, it counts for like swarm attack? Probably not, right? I don't know if that can be true. It can be true. I just don't know if I believe it. Hand me that panic. Jason, close up of the panic hand model. <laughs> yeah, right. What are you looking for? That, that'll work. I just wanted it over here. I don't know why. Just ask for it. Okay. Shadow Slayer, that's a nice token. It's also a smooth voice holding it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a smooth voice. What All right. Mean? So here's what I'm saying is if I initiate an attack, I kill one putty, I get to refill my reserves, likely, because I got three power and I will use maybe one or, t one or zero. Uh, and then we've got three actions among us. I can get over here, you can move there, and we can do the attack. Yep, and I can use this sword, and you can use whatever sword comes out. I like that plan. Oh, that's a great plan. Yep. Okay, then second. Uh, K Weeb says no foot soldiers are removed from the board mid battle when defeated. Okay, good. That makes sense because I feel like part of those cards wants you to remove minions so that it's less bad for you. Is there any reason to not, like, really a reason to not draw all the way up though? I mean, you're like, you're getting pretty thin over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And once you're out, we and, lose. And how do I fill up? I gotta go to the middle? You, no. I gotta recover. You recover action. Mm. Yeah, if you go to the middle, you get. If so you do that free it's like recover a super thing. Recover. Let me find it here. It's just not an action I often take because that's not how I play games. Recover, choose cards from your discard pile with a total of up to six shields, then shuffle those cards back into your deck. Um, it doesn't have the HQ rule. Let me find it. Can you entertain the people? I'll entertain the people. I'm just, I'm just figuring out, actions, figuring out my turn. Um, I'm gonna take one <laughs> more card. Oh, that's a. I thought oh, that yeah. was just a page that fell out. It was the. This is exactly what I want. Is. Okay, and now I need one Putty Patroller card, please. Magical card. Hope it doesn't have fast. Guard. What's Three health and deal two damage. It's a card called Cannon Fodder. I wish I had my headbutts right now. That is awful. Okay, I'm gonna get my three Universal Energy. I don't have any stored. So I'm going to hope to get out of this without too much trouble. Are you ready for this uh, rules clarification? Yes. When you move to the command center, so you can move to the middle of the board, you may power up. To power up, shuffle all cards from your hand and discard pile back into your deck. Then draw a new hand of up to five cards. In addition, take an energy token from the supply, if you don't already have one. Powering up is a free action and does not count against your available actions. So you move to the middle, you get all your cards Do you back. think I get to seven because it's two player? I'm going right? to say yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Go to the middle, full reshuffle, draw to five, get a power. That's crazy. Yeah, that's incredibly good. Uh, Corbin's saying draw five. I don't know if, if it is seven because we're in the two-player game or not, but... Yeah. Okay, let me see if anything matters here. Melkor, so Jonathan's hard at work on an entire new set of tokens for Barkham Horror, right? <laughs> no, he's not. We do have a lot of uh, Arkham things on, on the list, I guess, or in the queue, very soon in the queue. Okay, here, let's do... I don't want to waste a Blade Blaster on this, but I kind of do. Don't do it. That three health is a real bummer. I had... You get two chances of this. <laughs> you get... You had two chances. Okay. Let's start with a uh, one-cost Ram Rush. Three die attack. Okay. I've done it before. I'll do it again, right? Money in the bank. I made it, I'm gonna go ahead and write the check. Look at that. Easy. It's because you got rid of that that smarty pants blue ranger. That's right. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> get your brain hey, out we of power here. Power up. Nobody needs Give your me, brain. Hit me on that next level. Now you'll notice I have two power, so it goes to my reserves. So That's I right. gain two reserve energy. Couldn't have worked out better. Um, Putty Patrola can go to you. And then we're gonna power up. Here's the big moment. 
So I feel like before they changed the two-player rule where you get three actions, that moving to the middle, completely recovering you is fair. But yeah. when you have three actions, that almost seems way too good. Too good? Ooh, my uh, Ram Hyperzord. Exhaust when any ranger suffers damage, reduce it by three. That's good. We're, we're gearing up. We're cooking with gas. All right, so you have your stored energy again. We each have two actions, or I have two actions left. You have one action left. I'm going to go ahead and use an action to move to Angel Grove Park. Is it time? It's time. All right, last action. I will move to Angel Grove Park. Oh, and that unpanics because you cleared it. You sure does. And I think we're technically at power level two. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be on your case or <laughs> anything. Oh, administration of the game. <laughs> Important, huh? Weird. Okay, uh, so I'm going to use my last action to attack, and now we're doing our first group attack, which is cool. I like. I, I feel like how safe this is going. being in a group like this. It is definitely less bad. We can divide damage and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and draw back up to my seven. Of chaos on Sega. We have a team it totally team reminds me of General Chaos, yeah. 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 The greatest game ever made. <laughs> Love that game. It's so good. It's so good because it was so frustrating. It didn't ever work the exact same way. <laughs> it was like, I'm pretty sure I'm lined up as I'm supposed to be, but this bazooka guy is not shooting. And then he just comes over and the guy throws that grenade and you're just <laughs> sitting there. You get stuck in the mud. That game is incredible. Oh, it's incredible. That's hilarious. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm right, ready. We have three Mastodon Troopers and we have for the first time the Ranger Slayer. So I have four car five cards in my deck. Should I draw one or not? Yeah. I have I, I'll be the defender. It's unreal how I'm ready to defend Should I, I draw another one? I have a character whose weapon is a shield. I'll just put it that way. Alright, I'm going down to three. Because I've got the Zord to block damage. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So here's how it's gonna work, and we're gonna put this in front of you because I, I don't know if the camera can see it or not, but we're just gonna assume that it's the case. Um, so we have the three Mastodon Troopers, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip those cards. And we have a Blaster Rifle, which is the three health, two damage card. We get the Armored Assault. It has a guard. Roll two dice and deal that much damage to a Ranger. That's actually gonna be a really good position for this card. Ooh, then we get Alpha Strike. It's fast, so it's gonna move all the way to the left, and it's deal four damage total divided among the Rangers how you wish. Uh, but we're also now facing the Ranger Slayer, so we're gonna have another row of cards. So when you face a uh, monster, I guess is what, I, the minions and goons. Yeah, they're monsters. Soldiers. There's a monster, and, monster then the, and then a boss. The boss, yeah. The boss. So they get four cards every time. So I'm going to flip this over. First one is suppressing shots. And I'm just going to go ahead and put all these Did we do out. four of them? Four of them. Okay, yeah. cool. And so basically when we defeat one of the cards from a monster or a boss, that card's permanently defeated. It doesn't go back into the deck. And once we defeat four of those that monster or boss is actually fully defeated. I mean, if you defeat a monster or boss, you automatically power up a level and get a Zord. Goodness gracious. Then we get Slain Shot. It's also fast. Whew. It's going to be bad. Uh, we get another Slain Shot. For fast. You. And then we get a final Thunder Kick. It's also fast. Let's see what this does. The Ranger with the most cards in their hand must discard cards from their hand until they have discarded at least four shields or until they have no cards remaining in their hand. And that's going to be fast and... Bad. Okay, so this, this is, how I this like is actually a really interesting uh, kind of layout because guard actually affects cards that are to the left and the right and also cards that are above and below. Yeah, that's one we didn't know for sure. So as an example, this armored assault here is going to guard both the blaster rifle to the left and the slain shot above it. Japan and himself has got, uh, got us right. The boss is six cards defeated, not four. So you can't ever defeat it in one go. The boss boss, yes. The boss boss, yeah. yeah. Or this. Isn't this six cards? This no, is four? These are four. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's six. Only four come out when you're facing the, the final boss. Right on. But you have to defeat six before you actually win the game. Yeah, I remember that. you got so to hit it twice. you have to fight them at least twice. Yeah. Um, and then we also have on the end here, the suppressing shots also has guards. So it's this slaying shot is like super protected. Okay. So it's fast. That's going to happen. Uh, we both have the same number of cards. So one of us gets to discard uh, four shields worth. Let me see if I can get something in there. I think it has to be me. Side note. Yeah, I don't have any threes in here. Do you have a three one? I can do two twos. Ooh, that's a. Sweet and this is not considered a card for defense. No, it is not. This is a, a different ability here. I don't like this. All right, I, I have it. I'm gonna discard uh, these two for four total shields. Ugh, gross. Yeah, not not great. Yeah. Uh, we also get three shared energy. Uh, between us, which is nice, and we're actually sharing it this time. Um, now, a few things to remember. I You only have the one stored, don't you? 
Yes, but while there are three more enemies, which there currently are, all my cards are minus one. So it's very good. My ones are very good to play yeah. right now. I also have the do one to three different enemies. I also have the do one to s the neighbor of something I knock out. So as an example, I think I can clear all of those minions. Well, that would be in exciting. So let's go ahead and... Has this, this is gone, that exhausted, right? yep. Okay. So I think I should go mm -hmm. first because the first card I want to play costs an energy and it would be free. Yes. So if I'm going to be working up here, you're always going to have three enemies, right? Because you could also leave these guys for a while and get that discount while you work on uh, slaying shots. Yeah? Yeah, that's true. That makes so sense. maybe we try to get rid of this thing right here. Can you, you think, do you have anything that could knock that out? Let's find out. Okay. Um... No. <laughs> no, I Sweet. can't. I can do two, guaranteed. I can do two more. Oh, wait. Then yes. I can play them both because of <laughs> Trini's ability. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Give me them daggers. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Christopher says, what up? From Castroville, Texas, in the house. Do you want me to just take this thing down? If you can get that, that slaying shot out of the way, I'd love it. Let me make sure I don't need... Yeah, okay. Ooh. We also cannot let suppressing shots fire. No, that's that's un, that's too much. Three to each ranger, and we skip our next ranger turn? I could take that one out instead. I think this is a good one to start with, because we get two actions to take that other one out. Because we can prevent this... You think we can, though? Yeah. Okay. okay. Do you like my just generically un unreasoned for confidence. Uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, Japan, uh, it's three actions now. They changed the two-player rules. They issued an official, uh, I guess as official as it gets. Memorandum? Yeah. All John right. Jonathan in the Facebook group. Here we go. Let's go precise strike. All right. Two damage. Just and straight up. And another precise strike from Trina's ability. Oh. Once per battle, play a card, play another card with the same name. Four so damage. Four damage. Boom. Just like that. Okay, so the first slain shot is now face down. That's and then good for us. I'm going to pay two energy mm -hmm. to shuffle both of these back into my deck instead of discarding them. Do they let you do that? Is that what that card That's does? what they say. Yeah. How many shields do they have? Two. Good to know. Yeah, two shields. Okay, done. Okay, so then the Ranger Slayer is going to go and the defeated guard will activate. Then we get to go. How you feeling over there? Well, um, my my doing damage stuff is less exciting than it once was. Uh, I do have a blade blaster. That's about what I'm looking at in terms of dice rolling. So, and that costs a lot of energy. Let I have a lot of defensive cards that are handy. Mm -hmm. Let me start with a attack over on uh, suppressing suppressing shots. shots and then maybe blaster it if needed to finish it off i could throw the blade blaster yeah, at it yeah. or maybe you have it as well, well. blade blaster we also be, got the hyper sword this is going to be really good yeah. it's unfortunately good actually <laughs> um, and you're still at minus 1 energy yeah so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm i'm going to play a mammoth slam uh, it's free it gets me two dice but i if there are four more cards in my discard pile which there are i get to add a die nice so we'll add one. I'm going to use these. Actually. Can you just knock this one out? Just get four damage here? That'd be pretty sweet. So we're going at suppressing shots. I at least want two. Two would be a, the minimum viable product here. <laughs> one. One. Oh. Nice. Okay. I see how that goes. <laughs> I feel like this is my game to miss. It's this chair. This chair is the cursed chair. <laughs> All right. Roll four dice. Can you roll blanks again? Yes. Deal that much damage to the ranger with the fewest cards in their deck. I mean, you got them. I think I just shuffled all mine in to prevent this. Two, three, four, five, five, eight. Okay, it's me. I'm rolling. No, I have the fewest. I've only got five. Oh, ready? Yeah. Six. Six damage. <laughs> Six. <laughs> you have this. Yeah, we're gonna be using that. <clears throat> okay. Um, hey, I have some things for you. So my cards are minus one right now. I'm going to play a Koa Shield, reduce the damage by two, and place this on the top of my deck. 
Very nice. So reduce by two. You okay, can, so I'm taking four now, huh? If you reduce by three, you probably have a two on the top. Um, can I play a card that says when another ranger would discard a card? We're saying that. I mean, you know <laughs> Let's what I mean. Say yes. Is that true? I yeah. mean, I don't. I can't remember if that works. Because we could say Trin is taking the damage, right? If yes. Because then you'd have to choose a ranger, wouldn't you? 100%. And technically, they're tied for least cards in the deck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm I like gonna, that. I'm going to vote like yes that. for yeah. prop proposition whatever this number mm -hmm. is. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to actually play protect and serve. Okay. When Sounds another, cool. When another ranger would discard a card for defense, play this card to gain one. I can gain it here to the stored, can I? Or can I not? Any do gained that? energy goes to the middle, but we can gain more than the three starting. Oh, we can. Yeah. Good for us. Uh, play this card to gain one. Allow that ranger to place the card at the bottom instead of discarding it. Okay. And then, do I want to reduce by three? No, probably not. I think, right? You do. No, because you're down to one. It's probably gonna go to the bottom anyway, if that's the case, though. But then you're gonna have. To, okay, that's fine. Yeah, you're right. I gotta, I gotta do four basically. There's I no think, way I, I can lose right. here. Oh, so three there's three, perfect. and that goes to the bottom. And then if you get a two, it's just gold. It's just money. That's the. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's one. the blade. But that's okay. That's fine. It gets discarded. Okay, no big deal. Soaked four. And does that card go to your discard pile? This one does. Yeah. The one that you played. Yes, it does. It's gone. Okay. So now suppressing shots. You got another crack at it. I can blade blaster it for three. Easy mode. Three in, three out. Upside down. No problem. It's kind of like. Uh, I think I think you should do that. Okay, I do too. Okay, let's play a blade blaster. I'm gonna spend three energy to do three damage. Whoosh. Do you watch? Uh, Shit's Creek. Yes. Do you? That show is. Did you get into it? A absolutely. I've been watching it the whole time. Yep. Are you just not getting into it? No, I, I've watched the whole thing. Um, She's a huge Shannon loved that show. It's just has such a genuine positivity to it. <laughs> like, you get it's funny, but like I always one of the things I didn't like as much about like The Office or Parks and Rec, which I think are great shows. Um, like in Parks and Rec, they just are ruthlessly negative and mean to Gary. Yeah. Um, and like I don't ever have those feelings. Like, even when you're watching The Office, it's like you sort of feel empathy for Michael Scott. Yeah. And it's kind of a... But, like, Shit's Creek is just complete... You, the last episode was genius. I, I haven't seen the last episode. Oh, my gosh. That was incredible. Okay, so Ranger Slayer is turned, and then Ranger Slayer card number four attacks and does nothing. And now we go to the bottom row where that Alpha Strike is going to happen, unless there's something that you can do about it. Now, fast doesn't trigger when we go to the new That's row, right? right? That's right. Okay. Um, so I, I have a lot of things that I want to do here. Um, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my attack. I'm going to use Sweeping Strike. It doesn't cost me anything because there's still three enemies. When does this stand up, by the way, anyway? Um, it's once per round. So when we get new actions is when you get that. Oh, out. okay. So I should have used it, yeah. yeah. Um, sweeping Strike. So attack with two dice, and then it says deal one damage to an enemy card adjacent to the target. So I'm going to attack the, the middle one, actually. Okay. Uh, this guy's guarding it. Oh, bad. Bad. Mm, let me rethink my life then. Who's that strike card? Sweeping strike. Swooping. Sweeping. Sweeping. S W E. Mm-hmm. All right, good, Ryan. I'm glad we played that right. Good to hear that too, Parker. <clears throat> yeah, Shadow Slayer, the Magicians. I I've watched a few episodes of the Magicians too. I don't remember it though. I feel like I didn't. What's the problem? It didn't grab. No, it was good. Sometimes I just stop watching things. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. You ready for this? Yeah. Picture this. I'm going to use my uh, Cere Cerebus Hyperzord. No, not yet. I'm switching my okay. play. I'm going to do a wand to all three of those cards. Okay, it's happening. They're right here. Don't forget your minus one energy. Okay. So then, I love these little tokens. These are better than I remember them. They're really... I, I enjoy them quite a bit. Then I'm going to play a Blade Blaster for two. Okay. No. This is bad. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. One here, one here. Um, and then Hip Hop Kid... No, I'm going to do two here, and then when I defeat it, I'm going to use Zach's ability to do one here, okay. so that it will defeat both of those cards. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and you played, paid the Blade Blaster and all of that? Yep. So then these two are going to go over on the power board when you get a minute. Whoop. Okay. So there's that. 
these guys go over. And then uh, Macedon Trooper goes, mm -hmm. does nothing. Okay, now here we go. So... Do you have anything to do to that last card? <clears throat> I have nothing. Okay. So I also currently have nothing. But I have some things to do, if you catch my meaning. Yes. We'll get there. All right, <laughs> so I'm, we, we pass. Let this resolve. Well, I, I, can pl I want to play it right now. Okay, great. I'm going to play a Tenacity, gain one energy, and then choose two cards from my discard and put them on the top of my deck in wow. any order. So I like... I think that Krius Cannon is good. And I also think... You know what? I should do doubles because it's going to draw in... I'm going to do double headbutts because that would be outstanding. <laughs> yes. Because it goes back to my Dou hand. Doubles make so much sense, yeah, with your abilities. Okay. Okay. So now we have an energy. That's going to be good for me. And then we go here. Yep. Am I good to go? You're good to go if you want. I'm yeah. going to do a sweeping strike. Not as good as I want it to be, but it's two dice. We'll see if I can get those damage again. Two damage. That's all you need. Two damage, two dice. Classic. Yes. Three damage. That's what all I'm right. talking about. He gets defeated, so he's going to go over downtown. And then he goes, nothing happens. We go. I don't have anything left to do. I do. I'll play another Tenacity. Let's stock up our energy reserves. Come on now. And then let's put two cards up top. Now, I could, I could get both. Uh, I like this Ram Rush for three. That's not a bad deal. And you have a, you have a great ability to like get your stuff back in your deck. That's Saber Tooth Strike times two, of that course. That seems good. Because that's how this goes. Okay. So then we end that conflict. We have two energy left over. So we have to decide who's going to get that energy and how it's going to go. Um, I feel like one of us using a moment to go back to the command center, get mm -hmm. all our cards back, um, would be... I don't want to do that now. I've got a stacked deck. Yeah. So what I'm saying is you get both energy. Then I'll yep. spend my time to go back to the middle and get yep. healed up. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Party on. Go, go, Power Okay, Rangers. yeah, we're looking at us, team. Okay, uh, so we ready everything. We ready our actions. Okay. Like catching up with you guys on chat here. Ryan, tokens you guys made for this and Marvel Champions are fantastic. I can never see myself going back. That's exactly what we love to hear. <laughs> it's exactly it's what we try to do. Angrily satisfying. Uh, shout out to Slayer on my next work tip out. I want to buy some Arkham or Marvel tokens as my group is really balanced between those lately. That'd be awesome, Shadow Slayer. Thank you for doing that. Um, you won't uh, see yourself going back, just like Ryan. It'll be a good, good purchase for you. And I like I, the in between rounds, just catching up on chat and taking a second. To it's what it's actually so, what it's like to be <clears throat> playing a game with people. That's right, a whole bunch. Take of Take a break at from once. the action, especially Arkham. I do this all the time. We like get through the bit, and it's like, Ugh. all right, let's and get then a we drink, draw cards, get relax. Get a drink, yeah. Okay, so we defeated two Ranger Slayer cards, by the way. So we're halfway to defeating her. I'm going to put these off to the side. The other two are going to return to her deck, and the two we defeated, just to remind ourselves, a slaying shot and a suppressing shot. Yeah, not bad. So all they're the permanently gone from her deck, which is good. Um, then we got our actions back. Uh, we Our hands stay exactly as they are. And we're back around to the deployment phase. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some different... I like them being the same. It drives me insane. This is just me. This is just me being me. You do you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's flip some cards. <laughs> All right. We're deploying? Deploying. Okay. And this is still panic. Still panic because we got to get rid of the, the Slayer. We're going to chop her down first thing, though, right? Pos maybe. One Mastodon to the Zord Graveyard. Is that a fiver? Uh, it's nope. a six. All right, We're good news. Close. Three to the Zord Graveyard. Okay, so one will go there. It will become panicked because it's reached its figure limit. And then the other two will go to the next location clockwise, so the resistance hideout. Third is a monster. Two Mastodon Troopers in Black Dragon go to the resistance hideout. Yikes. You have the Black Dragon? Uh, nope. Do you? Is that right there? That's the Ranger Slayer. That, what? No, that's not. This is the Black Dragon. This is Ranger Slayer. That's ah. uh, Draken, Lord Draken. And it's now panicked, yeah? Yep. So we're at three out of four panicked, which is our lose condition. And then two Macedon Troopers as well. So one goes there. Now we're at our figure limit there, so the next one will come over with the Ranger Slayer. I don't have any more Mastodon Troopers. 
I'm going to swap a putty for a Macedonia. Okay. Okay. Is that the third one? Yeah. Uh, see, Franklin, the painting tokens are not going to be sold after Wave 2. They are only, they are exclusively shipping with a subscription for Wave 2. Yeah, which now we the, still have spots in. The, the standard uh, panic token comes in the Morphin token set, but the exclusive is only going to be in the Ugh. Three Macedons to the Zord Graveyard. That's actually perfect. So the three are going to go here, but they're going to loop around to here. Do we have any more Macedons? Is this why they have that have villain the, pack thing? We have the thing? two there. Here, I'm just going to do this to signal Macedons. OK. <laughs> that is why they have the, the OK, pack. so that's four. And then the last one, last deployment, two to Angel Grove. Uh, it's here. Two putties. So it's six. No, two that, more Macedons. That means three, four, five. Only one can go there, and then one will go over there. Whew. OK, so here's what I think we do. I think we fight here. I'm going to load up cards. I'm going to leave two or three for defense, just in case. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, we can t just defeat her, um, and then clear out as many of these minions as we can. And then after that, I'm going to go to the middle and recover. And then I think we actually head probably to the graveyard. Yeah. And you'll move straight to the graveyard, and then you use your other action to fight. Hmm. So I can fight, move, move. Yeah. Or yeah. And you get a fresh. You you come in fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, in the spirit of that plan, uh, I agree. <laughs> and we'll get another Zord in the process. Let's not sleep on that. And I think we'll be good. I think we've got this. All right. Not a problem. So I'm going to use my first action here uh, to fight. So okay. I'm going to draw cards. And let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to draw. Probably, let me see what I've got. Yeah. And I'm sitting at, I'm going to play it kind of cool here. Three, four. I'm going to leave four in. Woo, I'm riding the lightning here. But Jack Thomas has got my back. In fact, He's got my back so much that I should definitely just keep drawing. Two, three, four, five. Boy, these are famous last words. But each time you take damage, you can put one from your hand on the top of your deck. So you That's may as well yep. draw in. OK. Right? Uh, you ready to roll? So we have a bunch of Mastodon Troopers. So we're going to do four of those and then four cards from the Ranger Slayer deck. Ugh. So let's start here. Uh, we get a Dragon Cannon. It's fast. When it resolves, drain one energy. Each ranger must discard a card from their hand. Not going to let that happen. And then we get an armored assault. It has guard. Then we get a dragon cannon, which is fast. So it's going to go next. I think it, it all goes yeah. to the far left, yeah? The same card. Oh, it's the same card. Alpha, <laughs> Alpha Strike also has fast. So go ahead and now this one actually matters because it's different. So those are four Mastodon Trooper cards. And then, of course, I'm going to shuffle the Ranger Slayer cards back up. Four of these are going to come out. And fast on the minion track doesn't matter if there's a boss. Is that ultimately the, true? The only thing that would matter is if there's a fast enemy card, the enemies get the first card, even if the min the boss didn't have no any way. fast cards. Is that yeah. true? Yep. Bow of Darkness. Look at uh, that art. Deal it's six so of the lead ranger. Who's that? It's you. Good. That's bad for <laughs> us. Thunder Cake. It's fast. Whew. Thank the maker. Uh, next, we get Suppressing Shots. It's got Guard. That's going to be a rough round, I've got a feeling. And Slaying Shot, it's also got Fast. The moment we hit four cards, are we done? Like, did, is it destroyed? Uh, let me look that up. Let you guys know? Live chat, companion. if you guys know, if we've already killed two cards from the boss, uh, or from the, the monster, if we kill two, does it stop resolving anything else that they would normally If there are four resolve? more cards and a monster is discard pile at the end of a battle, okay. that monster is defeated. That explains it. We've gotten ourselves into something here, haven't we? This is the fight of the game right here. All right, let me look at all this. My cards are all minus one right now, which is good for us to know. Hmm. OK, so they're fast. Roll four dice and deal damage. <laughs> Fewest cards in their deck. I have two cards. I have four. I'm going to roll my fate here. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, two damage. Perfect. <laughs> you got three, put it right there. You got ooh, it. But, ooh, no. But, but it's my, your best card. But it's my headbutts. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. I. I could also hyper sword it. How many damage is it? Two? Is this two damage? Two damage. I'm going to play Coast Shield. 
play this card when any ranger suffers damage to reduce it by two, then place this on the top of my deck instead of discarding it. Great. And it's free because there's three enemies. That's incredible. I'm going to move these guys over here. Yep. I'm getting scared. And we have three energy, right? Three energy. Okay. So then we get to go? Not a problem. What does oh. that thing do? Uh, Thunder Kick. Most cards discard cards until they discard four shields or have no cards in their hand remaining. Let's see what kind of a, a shot I can take at that. So I feel like, as an example, it's got six health, this one in the middle. So we're just going to leave that because there's also a guard next to it. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to end up taking that six, which I think this plus a card in my hand are going to go for. Yeah. I could do a... I could do a double saber tooth strike here, which would basically be a two die attack and then followed by a two die attack, which is not tremendous. Um, I've got a guaranteed plus one damage if you happen to be able to do three. Um, and then the other cards I really want to save for suppress. I'm, I'm going to take care of suppressing shots. Okay. Um, the real question is can you do three how many damage will that here? Do? And you got the Zord, too. Let's not sleep on the one. So yeah, technically well, doing two damage is enough. So the thing with the Zord is it's really good for me to clear the minions. Mm -hmm. Because I can do three of them. He lets me do one to someone next to it, which would ideally be this. I can play an attack that does one to someone next to it. So it's just like... I We've can... also got to do two cards defeated here. We're just not going to win. Yeah. So can you do three here? Three? I can definitely do three. You can definitely do three. Mm -hmm. Do you like my confidence? Yeah, definitely do three then. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's do this. I'm going to... Uh, hmm. I'm going to do a Reckless Blow. There's three or more enemies, so it's a two-die attack. It but doesn't seem like time to be reckless. Before rolling, I get to discard the top card. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to back up. <laughs> Did you spend your energy already? It doesn't cost me anything. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So you should definitely be doing it if you've got the, the, the chance. And if you have to pull out Cerberus to do this, we can. Yeah, I can do one there and the two to some, yeah. some friends. Um, so let's go Mammoth Slam. It's a zero cost attack, two dice, but if there's four more cards in my discard pile, I get to add one. So I'm at three. You need me to do Odds three. I have a three. backup one. You've got a backup. What could go wrong? The only thing that could happen is you could roll one damage. Interesting. So one. in the event that you do roll one damage. My rolls have been garbage this it's game. Very bad. Uh, very bad. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I want to even follow that up. Okay, I'm going to react with the Twin Fang teamwork. Uh, play it, do one to something that just suffered damage. Yikes. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And uh, then we're going to get Thunder Kicked, right? Yep. No way around it. How many is it? That is uh, the ranger with the most cards discards four shields from their hand. How many cards you got over there? Four. I have six. Foo. Yeah, there are multiple goes. comments in the chat that just say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. 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 All right, I've got to get rid of uh, two. Two shield, two shield. <laughs> Fortune Voyager, only thing, that, in quotes, only thing that can happen is you roll one damage, in quotes. <laughs> Straight up curse. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? It's time to, it's time to roll. Now, there's, there's actually a world where this could go pretty good for us. But it requires me to roll better than you, which, uh, impossible. Can You've I go? You've rolling better than me all game. It's true. It's yeah, really been a turn of luck here. Um, you, you earned it, your karmic points. Saber tooth strike, two okay. dice, and if it hits, I get a two die attack against some other card. What are you attacking? Thunder kick. Gonna knock it off the board. With two two damage. damage. Come on now. <laughs> so I'll take my two die attack. I love these spark damage. That's amazing. <laughs> Little stars. Gets me every time. You think Bow of Darkness? We got a shot at this? No, so I'm going to no, play no, no, another no. Sabretooth Strike. Definitely not Bow of Darkness. I'm going to take the six. Okay. I have things. I have a plan. Okay. I'm going to try this Alpha Strike then. I could just knock that out. So my initial plan was do one to each of these things. 
with this thing, mm -hmm. and then use my attack here that can do one to a neighbor. Mm -hmm. Period. And then if I defeat it, I get to do one for free, and I would knock those both off. So I've I've got four dice coming at a target. If I kill that target, there's two additional dice to follow. So you definitely want to take something out. Or or I cannot do that because I do have another uh, another play here. Let's just do two where you want to. If any if two dice could go anywhere right now, what do you what do you want given your plan down here? Um honestly, like one of this one. This guy? Mm-hmm. Dragon Cannon. Alright, here we go. Three damage. It's gone. <laughs> Actually, the, like the worst thing. It's fine. Can you put that on the, I the mean, track? It's uh, fine. Killing is killing. I can't. Where I come from. You, you now, ain't wrong. Now I could play another Saber Two Strike if I so chose. Which is the same thing you just did? Yes. If you defeat something, you get to do it again? Yes. Yeah, why not? I'm not going to do it. I'll, tell, I'll show you why in a second. I got the double headbutt here, which I think is better. Okay. Bow of Darkness? Okay, so here's what I would like to have happen. I'm going to take six. Yeah. Right? I would like that. Then I'm going to play Smooth Moves. So first we're using the Ram Hyperzord to Ram Hyperzord three. minus three. Then yeah. I'm going to do Smooth Moves. Play this card when any ranger suffers damage to reduce that damage by two and gain an energy. Oh, nice. So we're going to gain an energy. Well done. So now I'm taking one, and I happen to know the card that was put on the left side of my deck, which is a three. So it's more, and it's going to go to the bottom this of my deck. This is peak efficiency. Peak efficiency. Okay, let me take the next move, would you? Yeah. Suppressing shots. I'm uh, going to play a headbutt. It's saber tooth time. It's two dice, and if it has guard, I get to put this back in my hand instead of discarding it. Wow. Here comes two dice on suppressing shots. One damage. Boom. It'll come back to my hand. I do have another one. I don't know if the order matters, but... I'll play the headbutt again with Trini's ability. Once per battle, I can play a card with the same name. Oh, oh. it's a three. <laughs> he can't be stopped. <laughs> it's gone, and this comes back to my hand. That's so perfect. So now, uh, Ranger crazy good. That's really awesome. Ranger Slayer's gonna go. Nothing happens, uh, and then it's me. Um, well, let's just see if I can get that thing off the table. You know what I mean? <laughs> Galactus, that is a great comment. Truly, <laughs> truly great. Oh man, that, that runs deep. That is the deep cut of Covenant history. If anybody gets that joke who's on the stream, I will lose my mind. Yeah, so, so Galactus says, even I'm surprised that. Steven knew what to do with a headbutt. And yes. the reality is we hosted an event in 2010 called MonCon. And it's Monster Early Monster Apocalypse convention. And what, 30, 40 people? Yeah, we were streaming in the top cut back in 2010. Don't know how it was possible. Dude. It's unbelievable. We were using like Ustream. Jonathan had some. I mean, there were wires was, coming out of his forearms. It was, it was crazy. Insane. I mean, he was powering the entire thing Top with cuts, sheer will. Stephen Bean, Stephen running a tier B monster, tier one point five as we call it, which means it's not that great. Um, and has whoever your opponent was on the ropes. And not it's really time. On the ropes, it's time. It's the morpher. They had the morpher, and if I headbutt into the fire, it's it's the game is over. Yeah, uh, so then he ends up not doing that and loses the game. But then I remember, I think it was Will Schick, who's now the head of studio at Atomic Mass, mm -hmm. was like, dude, why didn't you headbutt? You could have revolutionized the way people play this game. You would have revolutionized yeah. the way people play this game. I said, well, I'm not interested in that. And then I have a picture of Steven <laughs> sitting there. It's one of my favorite pictures. It's just this. <laughs> it's just I'm just staring off into space. The only thing I ever want to do in games is succeed well past uh, expectations, and that was the perfect moment. Nobody respected headbutt. Yeah, it was the move that nobody did. It was like, why does this even exist? And this was the moment, and I missed it. The play could have won the game. Okay. And I've never been bad at games since. <laughs> Humble too. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna attack the Alpha Strike. Um, this one? Yep, I'm gonna do Ground and Pound. It's a two mm. die attack. If the card had already resolved, I would get to add a die, but I'm just interested in a two die attack to try to get it off. Okay, time. cool. <laughs> one damage, classic. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna use this Cer Cerberus Cerberus Hyperzord. I'm gonna do one damage here and one to each of those that are left. Oh, nice. So we're you gonna take one of these lead. off. I think. Do Do they have a framework for when this? You can do the zords basically at any time. Okay. Because that was very. It was convincing the way you said that. Mystical and magical. Now that's on trooper goes. Nothing happens. Um, here's what I'll say. Do you Do you have a solution to I, both of these? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I'll say that. 
So I'm going to do a sweeping strike. It doesn't cost me an energy because there's three enemies left. Um, oh, it's three yeah, dice. That's true. And I'm going to attack the. Hold on. We have. Oh yeah, because the... okay, and this one's un. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The dragon cannon. Uh, if I'm able to defeat it, the dragon cannon is going to do one to the neighbor anyway. But if I defeat it, I can trigger Zach's ability and do two to the neighbor. So we'll see. All right. So you need to hit two. Yeah. Have you swapped out your dice? Do you want some different ones? No, that's fine. Okay. Got Another. three. So it does three. I'll trigger Zach's ability to do one to the neighbor. I'll use my card's ability to do one to the neighbor. Now they're both gone. Peak efficiency. We've reached it. We're so running we're a spreadsheet. Power up. Here. So we get another Zord. We'll see which one comes out next. Power up. Power up. I haven't even taken an action yet. Uh, okay, so that's one on. Wait, no. This here's, goes on. Here's the extra one. This is the one that goes yeah. on. Okay, and then we get a free Zordo. Yep. Well, technically, we got to wait until the end of the combat. Is as that right? As soon as you power up, the Zord comes out. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. The Zords awesome. are like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I originally, I thought we had two extra lives. And if you, if one of us got knocked out, we were going to bring in a new team, which is Bulk and Skull. So I put the Bulk and Skull Zords in there. We don't have, we don't have, Bryce, can you, uh, can you zoom in on this? We don't have this. This is Feather Dactyl. Do we have Feather Dactyl? This is Mighty Morphin Orange. This is Bulk and Skull. We don't have this. I just want to show this. I'd like to show it to the camera. No, no. Can you, can you switch me to the big boy? I'll hold this up here. You guys will be able to see it. This is so funny. It's unbelievable. Do I need to raise or lower it or anything? <laughs> Feather Dactyl, man. This is not what I expected to see when I flipped over the top of the deck. That is something else. Look at it. So they in the show, if you're unfamiliar, they were like the bullies of the high school. And there's an arc where they actually get to become rangers because the rangers need... Some assistance. Okay, so we'll put this kind of in the in the shared space. Yeah, sure. Exhaust this card to allow any ranger to choose any number of cards from the discard pile. Return them to the bottom of their deck. That ranger then discards an equal number from the top of their deck. Mm. That's really cool. Discard pile goes to the bottom, and it's then like, discard from the top. You could grab eight cards from your discard pile, and then you discard the top eight cards of your deck. Huh. Okay. So it's just filtering. That feels like a card that would come from them. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, just weird. Uh, okay, do you have any uh, any actions before we no, I'm, tap I'm out? All, I'm okay. all done. Let's get out of here, then. All right, so we charge it. We had four left over energy, so we'll get all that back. Yeah, that really worked out well for us. Uh, we defeated two more of the Ranger Slayer, so she's actually going to go away. Go. And then that powers us up one, right? So we get powered up, so we get another so Zord. Three and then four. I can't believe we get a free power up from doing that. That is, I mean, so I think yeah. if you didn't get something awesome from that, a lot of times you would just ignore the monsters, you wouldn't actually fight them. Here we go. Oh my god. The, <laughs> the, 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 baconodon, <laughs> the baconodon. Mighty Morphin Purple, a bacon based uh, ranger. Exhaust this card when any ranger suffers damage to increase Bulk. it by one, then deal three damage to an enemy card of your choice. This is awesome. Do you see that? Look at him. He's a big. So you, you take one extra damage, and then you deal three back to an enemy of your choice. That's awesome. That's hilarious. Wow. Good, good flavor. They killed it with this game. They really did. The art, the flavor. Five out of five stars. Five okay. out of five. So here's, here's my vote, if you want to hear it. I think I should move back to the middle. Okay. Get all my cards back. Yeah. Then move over here to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Then you should move to the graveyard. We gotta clear this out to unpanic it, don't we? Not really. So we're gonna get five more deploys. We mostly need to make sure these things go away. Mm hmm. Like. But there's a guy here. But it's a whole action. <laughs> is it worth an action? Would you rather have your whole deck back? I mean, all that I'm saying is like, even if we clear this one, if all five drops go here and here, we're losing. 100%. Right? Because this is panic. It would have to be four. Or a boss goes here, that immediately panics. And then yeah, it's yeah, essentially you're right. game so over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move, <laughs> recover, move there. Yeah. You can fight. Uh -huh. If you want to fight while I'm sitting here, that's fine too, I guess. Let's do that. We'll see if you can contribute anything if you want to. But it's just one card. So well, like, you, you may as well take everything into your hand except if you're about for to. One card, but you have to take all damage. That's fine. All right, I'm going to attack. I, I, I wouldn't even. Well, it's up to you. I, I, wouldn't even. Put it, I could have put it back on the top of the deck. Okay. That's too close. It's too close. It's too weird. Oh, hold on. Check this out. See? This is, this is live streams. Killer. 
Don't forget, you defeated a monster, so all remaining foot soldiers flee. Let me put these back. <laughs> so flee, does that mean he goes away? Yeah, okay, you probably don't get him on the power track, but he goes away. Gone. That's great. Okay, well that makes it, that's a good balancer then. <laughs> Thank you, live chat. We would have, we would have made it too hard. Okay, so then the panic's gone. That's way yeah. better for us. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to proceed with plan. I'm going to move to the middle. So I actually get all of the, uh, to the, whatever that's called. Um, the window. I may end up moving, attacking, and then going back to recover as well. You could also recover first if you'd rather. That, that does make sense. That way you have a big stack of cards. That does make sense. Because then to go into the next round, the main monster or boss is likely to come out. Mm -hmm. um, and so if he does come out, then we know exactly what the score of the game is. But, ah, man. We could easily lose here. No, it's almost guaranteed. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. So let's say that the boss drops out here. That panics. If five things end up here, we lose the game. Yeah, we're going to clear that out. But we can't. There's six things there. We'd have to fight twice. That's why I can't recover, I think. Yeah. I think you move, and then I move, attack, attack. I'm going to move. If, if you, if we, yes, I think that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. But so, it's fine. I can take all the damage we would take here. I've just got to play it cool. Yeah. All right, let, hold on. We need to, there's a lot of action going on over here. Can you, uh, can you catch up on the chat there? Yep. Mark W., shout out the TC subs. If you can get one of those, Ducati. If there's space, you'll have no... Marvel Champs issues, if there's no space, I'd recommend pre-ordering from your FLGS. Uh, so we actually do have space. We have a limited number of spots that opened up um, today. Yeah, I think we finally put the nail in the coffin on that one. Uh, crossing fingers. Um, so Thor has already been charged for, but if you sign up now, you'll start getting the packs automatically with Black Widow, which we expect to, to release in early April. Uh, but yeah, you sign up and you don't really have to worry about it again. So check out subscriptions if you want. Um, Can you ranger choose any number of cards from the discard pile and turn to the bottom of their deck? Hmm. Ducati asking about the reprints. We're expecting the reprints pretty soon. So you can sign up for a wait list for anything that's out of stock, and you'll be notified as soon as we have more of those. All right, for a second action, fight that big mess of things. Let's fight two putties and two mastodons. What do you think? I'm into it. So two putties. Guard. Blank. It's a cannon fodder and then a leaping attack. And the two Mastodons are going to be Armored Assault and Dragon Cannon. It's fast. So it's going to move to the front. And we've got two guards going on here. So the fast is just going to happen. Drain one energy. Each Ranger must discard one card from their hand. So we lose an energy here. Ugh. And then we get to choose, though, right? I assume. Yeah, I'm, I'm running low on uh, juice here. Okay, Sabertooth Strike is gone. Uh, Sweet. Can I take a recover action just in a normal location, right? Yeah. It's just not as good. It's nowhere near as good. Mm. Mm. This game is hard. Hmm. That's how it should feel. Yeah. Thank you, Fortune Voyager. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Well, let's discard here. Okay, so let me, let me go to town here. I really should do this with my double headbutts because they go back to my hand. Unless you can clear it out. I mean, I can also do that here. I think I can clear these three in maybe a single action. I feel like I've heard this before, though. Do you guys do you feel like you've heard that, Bryce? Yeah. Just, just trust me. Okay, all right, I believe it. I all right, so my, I, my cards are minus one because before. there are three enemies. Um, so I'm going to play Power Axe. <laughs> it costs three, but it's only going to cost me two. Um, do you, how much energy do you need? Uh, zero. All right, I'm going to use these two. Actually, I'm going to use these two first. There's no reason for me not to do that. Well, that's very nice. Uh, so it's three dice attack, but w the way it works is it's called Power Axe. After rolling, choose two dice from the attack and deal that much damage to each enemy card adjacent to the target. Okay. So choose two of these and do them to both ad adjacent friends. So hopefully you get a double... A two and a one a would be great. One, but yeah. even a two would be... A two, would two. Be enough. Would a two be. would be enough. So I'll show you. So two ones, uh, so I'm going to do two to him, and then we do two to each neighbor. Dead. <laughs> Defeated. <laughs> Defeated. Ding! And then you trigger hip-hop kiddo? 
Um, I can only do that after I defeat an enemy. So I can't do it yet, but I will be able to do it. You defeated this enemy, did you not? It's flipped over. Adjacent to the target. So I can, <laughs> yeah. Huh. That makes total so sense. So you can do one here, so I guess. do one there. That's so well, weird. Does it have to be the enemy you were targeting? It's one damage to an enemy adjacent to whatever is targeting. So huh. I'll just go ahead and... That's actually it. a fascinating little interaction. I like it. But it already activated, so the other card is actually going to activate. And we have what? How many did we just defeat? What did Two. we defeat? One Two Mastodon down. and yeah. one Putty. So here's those. Um, so he's going to resolve and deal two damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play a Chloe's Shield. Chloe's Shield um, prevents the two, and then it goes on top of my deck, which is really good. Prevented. And then... I could definitely take care of this guy. All right, let me do this then. I'm going to do a Ground and Pound. It's zero cost. It has two dice. Attack dice. If the target has already resolved, add one attack dice. So it'll be three dice. Come in here. Can't miss. Now I get the four. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, that's the other putty. It's going to go there. Putty gone. Uh, putty patrol here, and then we'll use uh, Trini's ability for two headbutts, and they'll come right back to my hand. So let's hope for three across four dice. There's two. And there's four. Four. Wow. Yoo-hoo. And here is another trooper. Comes back to my hand. Thank you, headbutts. Trooper out. Mastodon goes, and then I think we have one more action, unless we want to... I think we pass it, right? Yep. I think we're golden. Okay. And then I'll take these two back for stored energy. Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, putty, putty, Mastodon. You want to shuffle those guys up? Mark, really appreciate that. He's saying he got on the waiting list for holiday tokens w- once, got the email, submitted an order, and had shipping reference the next day. I don't often order with EU shipping, but always got great service. That's great to hear, Mark. That's awesome. Yeah. We... we take that very seriously. That's one of the things that we have built the culture around, really. And Robert's done a great job, just ops in general. Like, There's no reason for things to not be done quickly and well. <laughs> it's only people just deciding not to do that, yeah. that, that. And we've dealt with that so much in this industry. I feel like people's standards have been artificially lowered because it has not been great in the industry for, you know, throughout its history. Uh, and it's just like, no, we can do things better. And you, you should. It, you should respect people in that way. So we choose to do that. Fast shipping. Fast shipping. Fast everything. Uh, pay attention. Don't make mistakes. Uh, treat people like they're human beings. Um, last thing. What's up? We do an attack, maybe? We got to clear yeah, that, Yeah, I right? think we just clear that. Okay, can you handle it? Yeah, absolutely. If you ever go back and watch these streams when I'm being this confident and look at my face, I, I mean, you didn't clear time. out those three yet again, like you said. I, I mean, think you I, did over I, time, but I not told with you I the one. <laughs> All right, you're attacking. I'm gonna draw back up. Uh, two Mastodons, and this is gonna put us into third zo- or fifth Zord. We're gonna we're gonna make a Zord by the end of this. You ever oh feel my that? gosh, Ryan. When phase two releases, there's gonna be a new game mode where you can deck build your Ranger yeah. deck. That's so great. Bow, Bryce bow, back bow. There. I mean, it's this is like execution 101. Renegades does maybe 103 or 203. It's actually Got, what supporting a game looks like. Yeah, so they have the monthly scenarios happening. They have regular content coming out. And then more importantly, it's like they're stair-stepping, there's, as John would call it, scaffolding learning. Yeah. Uh, the player base, which is you have the core game with some expansions to kind of explore that out. We had the first wave of expansions, great. The second wave, adding deck building, it's like next level. Yeah, so good. Next level. Okay, we got two of these. First card here, Dragon Cannon, it's fast. That's a bummer. Ah. Then we have Alpha Strike, oh, it's also right fast. Back. Oh, that's better. That is better. Okay. Uh, so we gain our three energy, and Alpha Strike's going to trigger, it's fast. So let's deal four damage, uh, four total damage divided among the Rangers as they ch- so choose. Let me look at my cards. I have defensive stuff. There's only two enemies, so now it's going to cost me something. So I can take two without even thinking about it. And should. And should? Okay. I should take two. I'll play a Koa's Shield. Man, uh, forever prevent always. Two. Well, it goes to the top of my deck, so I draw it back unless I take a hit. You prevent two, and then I'll put this on the top of my deck for Jack Thomas's Steadfast ability. Okay. And I'll reveal a three. Mm. It will go to the bottom. 
fire. All right, so as an alpha strike. Standard. That was the re resolution of that. Now we get to do something. So all that I have is one headbutt in my hand. It's a two die attack, and that's all that I can do. And if I have to discard it because this fires, then I have nothing to, to follow up with. We have to kill both of these. Now we do have the bacon baconator, where if you wait, maybe we should do that. What is it? Can you do two damage? Yes. We should do the Baconator then. Check this out. So The Baconodon? Yeah. So I'm going to do something different. So here we go. Let's exhaust the Baconodon and right. increase the damage from... When any ranger suffers damage, I'm going to increase it by one. So it's going to go from two to three. I'm just going to discard my headbutt. But then it's going to do three damage to any enemy. Oh, so wow. I'm going to choose the Dragon Cannon. Great. Here's this. Give us that next Zord, Boom. though. Boom! Power wah, wah, wah. up! Look My... at the bacon doing work. He's bringing it home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Put this we're, bacon in a cast tag. We're only one away from getting the Mega Zord, which makes my... Uh, well, we're also about to hit the boss, heart too. happy. Yeah. Power level five. But I've been told once the Mega Zord comes out, you can't lose. Mastodon, it's yours. Oh, yeah. Ex oh, man, that's so good. It says, exhaust this card to immediately remove a foot soldier from any location and place it on the experience track. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. Uh, let's make sure we get rid of this other guy first. Okay. And then I'll decide to use that card. Um, this game is great. It's so it much is, fun. It is great. It's, I'm it, curious what the deck building rules are. I think that will take me from, like... A 10 to an 11. It'll turn it up to an 11. I consistently, this is like 30 year old Steven speed as opposed to 20 year old Steven. Yeah. Which was a lot more like. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like the trading card, like the like, I ah, I'm ready to play. It's I like want to inject it into enough. my veins. Uh, and now I'm like, I really, I want to do that sometimes. Have a good time? Just not quite as much. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play Reckless Blow. So I'm going to use an energy. It is a two-die attack. Before I roll my dice, I can discard the top card of my deck. If I do, I get two extra dice, so I get a four-die attack. Aiming for four here on the alpha strike. He can't miss, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you got to stop saying this stuff. <laughs> oh, it's easy. Four damage. All right, it's gone. So now it's going to go over on the power track. We're going to get unpanicked on this location. I'm going to use my Mastodon. We're going to put this on the experience track. That's Thank great. You very much. I love it. So three out of four locations cleared. Now, can we use the Mastodon uh, during deployment? Probably not, right? No. No, OK. Because yeah, that would be some hip stuff. You can use it any time during like, the player turn, whatever that phase is called. All right, Mastodon Trooper is going away. I think we're on the right side of this, guys. Well, we're about to get. You guys feel good about this? Get Everybody lost. out there feeling good? We get five deployments. I'm going to have to recover like. First yeah. thing. And then we're going to have to have a big. You're basically going to recover and move to the boss zone. And then I'm going to move to the boss zone and fight. And we're still going to have two actions left. Yeah. So it's going to be beautiful. Okay, are we ready? Here mm -hmm. we go. We've got three putties to Angel Grove. That's a good start. We've got one putty to Ernie's. That's a good, good follow up. We've got third. We've got two putties and the boss are going to Ernie's Juice Bar. The boss is Master Vile. Mm. Oh, that's actually very fortunate for He's us. He's the big boss. Look at him. He's awesome. I love his little... Like, look at his glasses in the little model. Unbelievably cool. Why is that fortunate? Oh, you can use the Mastodon during deployment, but not between revealing the card and placing the models, which is what I wanted to do, which, of course, wasn't going to work. Oh, he's going to the Juice Bar? He's going to the Juice Bar right here. Two uh, putties going with him. I like that the final conflict's going to be Can you panic that bar. one? Vile has, uh, has shown up. And then fourth is Putty Patrollers at Angel Grove. Is that the last one? And then where does this go? I think we reshuffle the deck. Really? Um, but it's without the bosses and monsters. Let me find out. I'm going to do it like that. Well, why don't they just include one extra card? Because wouldn't you always... Well, you could go for a while. Oh, you could go for a while. We might need multiple more turns. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm here to win now. <laughs> I'm here to get a... <laughs> I'm here to chew bubble gum and the other thing. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Master Vile is one of the hardest bosses, says K. That's fine. We'll put that to the test. We're experienced Ish. gamers. We need a different term for gamers that, that is not that word. Is tabletop, not universal. Players? <laughs> Players is pretty universal, too. 
fun time, Johnny? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Susie and Johnny's. I don't know. I think that could mean a lot of things. <laughs> of all the things that I expected Zach to say, that is, I tell you, 0.1% zero, uh, 0 chance that I would put that phrase. You're supposed to shuffle the discard and put it on the bottom after every deployment. What? Oh, after every deployment, you shuffle it and put it on the bottom? What? What? <laughs> what? That can't be true. This goes against everything we've ever seen. I remember reading this. Don't yeah, sometimes the rule book hides the little nuggets I don't remember in there. what it said, though. Someone said, easiest boss in the game. I've just never beat him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Just taking a break here. Can I just reshuffle this and, and reveal one? No, we gotta we gotta play it by the book, man. We didn't come this far. To I've just... already done like I'm literally I've already done it. It's already done. That's fine. I'm just gonna flip it. I mean, all we gotta do is have a random location and a random thing, right? All right, let's see. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there are creative ways to randomize things in the rule book, I'm sure, but I also have discovered one of my own. I feel like we could just use that one. Because, yeah, can we get a consistent random over here? Hope Matt Phillips is watching. <laughs> I'm, I'm five seconds away from turning this card over. This, isn't this the rule of board games that most people have is like, if you can't find the rule, figure it out? Page seven of the rule book. When the deployment phase is complete, take all foot soldier deployment cards from the discard pile and shuffle them together. Then place the shuffle together on the bottom of the deployment. Uh, okay. So it's all the foot soldiers. I was I had, I had the, more or less the best of it. Been the same, but it keeps a kind of a static. Okay. So if we run into a boss or a monster, we'll just discard it. If you didn't get those, out. I already got them out. All right, great. Yeah, I had two on the Zord graveyard. It is not panicked. Okay, man, that Macedon is a killer Zord. What a Zord! Whew. You thought the Zords were good then. Okay, here we go. We've done it. That's all five. Yeah. So, in my opinion, I don't know about you. You think we can get it done? I think you move to the middle. You recover. Yeah. I think that... I'm going to do that now just to get it over with. Yep. Moving to the middle, free recover action. And we can do that forever. That's the command center, right? Yeah. And I, just, I put everything back in and just do a full reshuffle, redraw. And draw your hand. Yep. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm excited to see how difficult this most difficult enemy is. So Vile is the he's the the da literal dad of Rita Repulsa. He's oh, okay. The, he's he's the, the grandpa. Yeah, he's the dad. Well, yeah, I guess. Does Rita have kids? I think of all the monsters as her kids. Yeah, her little soldiers. The putty patrollers, I guess, would be her. Uh... Well, she's but weren't they like architected? Weren't Spence? they architected by if like somebody else? The putties. Spencer. Yeah, it seems right. Yep. He Remember made the little clay in the oven going through. Yeah. They'd pop out. What an idea. I mean, how did anybody ever make this show? This is just insane. It's Maybe just, that's why it's so loved. It's the kind of energy that goes into, like, like kids' shows. Yeah. When you actually are watching them, it's like, what? It's made by adults on uh, hallucinogenic drugs. That was a theory at one point, that all the guys from the 60s were making the 80s and 90s um, <laughs> TV shows. I mean... Like Biker Mice from Mars? That, that's not, nobody sober makes that up. I mean, do you remember Cat Dog? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cat Dog was hilarious. <laughs> two, you remember Two Stupid Dogs? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's going oh, yeah, back into the, the you ever brain. Seen Courage the Cowardly Dog? Yeah. I never, that never hit me. I never quite got it. I think it helped that I had a little brother. Mm. I was forced into it. <laughs> Here's and seven. Then I liked it. I've got seven cards. All right. Do you want it? Are we trying this? Do you want to just get it over with? I mean, we only have one goal right now. So move. Now, the thing is, move, it, attack, attack, attack. So I think you move, then I'll move and attack. Mm hmm. And then um, we have two actions. Which is bad. Because if, if we, well, we get. We can attack multiple times, I guess. The thing I was going to say, if we miss, mm -hmm. the board is in Panicville very quickly. Now, the, but the, the enemies are just going to keep coming, right? I mean, there's no shortage yes. of enemies. The bosses won't, but, and we, 
We could farm for the uh, the Megazord. We need four putties, which we could do in a single location. We're, we, we can get it with a Mastodon and then us getting these off the table. Oh, there it is. I think that's what we have to do. Yeah, uh, and maybe clear one or two cards from Vile. I think the, the gambit is, like, I could attack here and clear those, and then I could move over, and then, like, you could move, attack, move. Like, we could basically try to clear it down and also get, like, one attack round on him so that next time we don't just go. But I'm, I'm I go for the... What do you think the average number of deployments is, though, per round? Ten? Probably seven or eight. You think it's seven or eight? Mm-hmm. So if we do clear four here and two there, and we have eight, and they have to go here or here. And we know no more bad guys are coming out, right? No more super bads, yeah. Yeah, so if we remove one here with this thing, and we clear here from the fighting, then if eight come out, it wouldn't even panic the board. Yeah, and if it goes really bad, we can, we can bail and try to kill some. I, I like that idea. Let's go there. I'm going to move here just to force our hand. You did it. You've gone and done it. <laughs> You've gone and done it. I'm just going to face these your way. Okay, so... Move. Attack. So, like, I technically have a move and an attack there, and you have an attack there. Yeah. I could attack before I move. Mm, yeah, you could. To buy us some leverage. But it won't matter, because we don't care about... Well, it's just one extra putty, right? I mean, what's one extra party mean? Because you could also just mass it on one but with like, the Megazord. I could clear those two, and I could mass it on one from over here. Yeah. And then we have a lot more putty, like villains that can come out without us just losing. Okay. Or I can spend two actions attacking here, and we can get three shots in. That's what I'm saying, because that's we kind of got to decide. Do we play it safe, or do we play it lame? I'll tell you. I'm going to take an action. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm coming down to Oh, time. here we go. I, there's only one way to play this game. Living on the edge. That's right. The Power Rangers never succeeded by playing it safe, if I you'll know. recall. Jason needs to get out of here. <laughs> Why don't you take the uh, attack action so I have one angel action remaining? Just in case. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's attack. And let's not I'm forget we up. have five Zords sitting here. Yeah, we got, we got stuff and things. We do have stuff and things. Stuff yeah, and things. Both. <laughs> right by my things and stuff. <laughs> All right, hit me with a... Uh, you want to draw? You got your hand, your full hand? I've got my full hand. I recovered. All right, so we got, we got three putties. I'm glad it's not the Mastodons. They're tougher, I feel like. Here we go, guys. We've got full energy. You're fully stored, right? you got your batteries full. Finster, Sculpt of the Monsters. That's right. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. First is Swarm Attack. Deal one, one for each foot soldier. Cannon Fodder with Guard. Don't forget the supplies to the, the bosses cards as well. Leaping Attack is the final card. Okay, easy mode. All right, then we get Master Vile. We have a guard on the second card. Is that right? <laughs> Thanks. Like Bill poetry. Shakespeare over here. Stephen um, Shakespeare, I like that. Do I have for these cards? any doubles? I'm going to read these as we go. First card, Gravity Well. All right, it has guard. Deal three damage to each ranger twice. Okay, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> That's, wait, whoa, hey, wait, that's 12, that's 24 damage. Yeah. Uh, then we have Gravity Well, deal three damage to each ranger twice. It's also got guard. How about that? Uh, passive Hideous Power. While this card is in play, each time a Master Vile card deals damage, increase that damage by two. That's five damage to each ranger twice. Don't mind me. And then we have Hex Blast. Okay, this is fast, so we bought ourselves some time. This is unwinnable. <laughs> Hex Blast, deal six damage. Deal six damage. I have the perfect card for this. <clears throat> Is it the trap card? <laughs> You've activated my <laughs> trap card, don't you see? Okay, hold on. We need to really think about this. It's fine. I actually have the answer to this. I have the. I, I think I have the answer to this. Okay. Um, uh, Ryan, Sabertooth is actually in the deck, so this is one thing I'm not sure on. When, when the power level hits six, does that is the there only supposed to be one card left right now, which would be the Megazord? Because right now, technically, I think the Sabertooth and the Megazord are what is left. Yeah, because we put th in the Balkan Skull ones. Yeah, I thought it was six and the Megazord, which mm. I may have just done. But that's fine. If it's just the Megazord, we'll just be fine with the Megazord. All right, so each time deals damage increases. So eight damage, deal eight damage. That is that... I have cards, though. 
And we may as well use the Zord on some of the... Well, no, we should save it until we're about to die. Yeah, that's my line of thinking, at least. Okay. Form an attack, add one. Okay, okay so here's, here's... I'm going to do this. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm, taking, I'm going to take one of the eights. Okay, I'll take one of the eights. So I'm going to well. prevent two and give us an energy with smooth moves. Then I'm going to play the Koya Shield, which is going to reduce it by two um, and go on the top of my deck. So now I'm down to four. Um, um, what if I do this for you? You spent some energy already? No energy's been spent? No energy's been spent. But let's protect and serve you. Another okay. ranger would discard a card for defense, gain an energy. Did, okay. you already, did we already gain one I from gained something one, yeah. else? Mm -hmm. Nice. And then you place it on the bottom of your deck instead of discarding it. Okay. So this is great. So I'm taking four. So yep. I'm going to flip the shield, which has three. And nice. instead of going away, it's going to go to the bottom That's of the deck. That's good. Then I'm going to flip the next card for the last damage. And it's a one, so it'll actually get discarded. Very cool. Okay. And then I've got to take eight. Okay, cool. So when we get to six, by the way, it's just going to be the Megazord. Okay. I might just take a... a... And it's a random Megazord from the ones that I have. Hmm. There's like the Hyper for Force Mega. Cool. Yeah. So it's not just this battle. Right. Okay. So guess what? We're going to get more models. That's the thing I'm most excited to paint, actually. Yeah? Mm-hmm. good. Thanks. It's in stealth mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's in its winter camo. Okay, how about, how about this? Let's go ahead and throw this on top with uh, Jack Thomas's ability. Okay. And then I'm going to take eight the old-fashioned way. Yep. Two. Four. Six, eight. Yikes. Like I said, the old-fashioned way. It's very vile. The old-fashioned way. All right, so we have to get rid of this gravity well. I have to go next. Yeah, sure. Okay. I, so, I believe your excitement... Your excitement leads me to believe that you're going to do a lot of damage here. Am I right? More specifically, I have the Creus Hammer. Next time any ranger suffers damage, reduce it by two. So if one of these fires, it's all minus two across all four rangers. Is that true? <laughs> Can you read it like that? The next time any ranger suffers damage. During this battle, reduce it by two. I don't know if it's The next time or any not. four rangers suffer damage, reduce it by two, right? All that, just hit five. Well, we'll still have to deal with this next one. That's what I'm saying. You're going on that one with five, right? Yeah. All right. Three damage. Okay. All right. And this is a, uh, a Jack Thomas attack. So I've got options here. So here comes five. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Swoosh. Swooshed. That was, that was good. That was important. It was an important moment, I feel like. OK, done. Got Krius hammered. All right, so Vile In, goes. Every Ranger minus two. And then. We'll see who's got five on deck. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. 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 How are you feeling about things? I Let's have not, a decent attack. Let's not forget that we have to. We have to kill these three. And this last card is going to do nothing. This is the one I'm wanting so to do. So this is the only one that matters. Mm -hmm. I can give you plus one damage, and you've got one with your Zord. So can you do three? Yes. Certainly. Yep. Okay, let's go. All right. Uh, your face. Let's I go. mean, nothing's certain. <laughs> says that now. <laughs> I have a good shot, I think. What okay. I meant to say was... I'm going to play Mammoth Slam. It's two dice, and then it's plus two dice if I have four more cards. That's a good... You got a good shot at it. So that's what I... I mean, I felt pretty okay. You got a good it. shot at it. We're going to go four here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Mm hmm I can't watch. No, I'm just going to roll four. And you got minus one on the power cost there? It didn't cost anything. Wow. It's so good. Way to go. Come on, dude. Just got to roll them up. Two. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I've been rolling so bad. <laughs> we have not earned this victory. Okay, hold on. Let's think about this. Two. Is there any way to solve this problem? Hmm. 
I'll tell you what, we should do the, the bacon NATO. Take one extra and deal three. That, we can also, let's not sleep on the fact that we can utilize that this next go around. Oh, that's disastrously bad. Mm -hmm. should, we, should we put one on it there? We should. We actually should, because I will have the, the next idea. <laughs> it's the pipe for more good ideas. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Um, plus one. Okay. So you then, know, we need to watch more Space Ghost. I need to show you all of the uh, Space Ghost okay. stuff. Okay. I'm, I would watch it. Ghost, ghost. Three damage to each ranger twice. Now, let me read to you this card. The next time any ranger suffers damage during this battle, reduce it by two. That's Cryos Hammer, yeah. I mean, it must reduce it all. It's just very technical, right? It's like, is the three damage to each ranger twice? When is all that happening? I can see it blocking two on the first three. It's on the first three. So we, every ranger takes one? Is that what we're saying? But it's, it's plus two take... for the passive. So three and then five? Yeah. I think. I, I mean, I, I have to. I'm just reading the card, Zach. I'm just a, I'm just a bystander trying okay. to read the card. So I'm going to take three. Yeah. On each of these guys. And I'm going to take three and three. So that's six total. And we have, to a, start. we have a can if we need it. Yeah. So let's go three here on Zach first. I have a three. Mm -hmm. Three on Vesper. A two. And then it says, if this card is revealed for defense, add it to my hand instead. And then another two, so that's going to go to the bottom of my deck. That was very good. That was extremely good. All right, so do I want to block any of this stuff? Is really the question. What's our game plan after we take all of this damage? Can you hit me with that? Do well, it's fine now. He's done doing damage. So then we're just going to clear these out. Clear that, but we probably want to take this one off the board, yeah. too. And before yeah. we clear those out, I need to play any energy cards that I'm going to play. Okay, I'm just going to take it the old-fashioned way again. So three damage, mm -hmm. first instance. One, two, great. Second instance, two, show me a two. Yes, it's a two. Okay, then we all take five. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So right. I'll start here. <clears throat> Zach Taylor, there's a three, four, five. Then Vesper, one, two, three, goes to my hand instead. Do we need to minus three? That's no, a three. Okay. Three, going to the bottom of my deck. We're on the edge of defeat. I think I'm going to use the Zord. I'm not going to... I think you should definitely use one, the Zord on one of these. Okay. Minus three. Two remaining. I'm going to put this headbutt up top. Discard it to make sure it goes to the bottom. Classic Zach Taylor or Jack Thomas ability there. And then the other five. Let's go... Wait a minute. It's to each ranger twice, right? So we do all of well, this again. Well, the three was the one, plus two is three. The first round we did, mm -hmm. now we're taking five, which is the second right round. Right on. That's right. Thank you. Here comes five. One, if it's discarded, I add one die to my next attack. All right. Two, three. Four, five, six. Nice. Nice. Goes under. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I think I can clear out these minions in like two actions, which we have before he's even going. And then the rest of the actions will be trying to clear these cards up here. Okay. The other thing that I know is that I've got a four die attack going any anywhere I want it. I think it'll go on that big six first. You think so? But we can wait because I'm going to buy us a bunch of actions by clearing these guys. Okay. Are you going to use the Mastodon? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. See what you can do. Um, next up is your attack. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, Sweeping Strike. It's free. So it's two dice, and then I do one damage to an adjacent enemy target. So actually, and the guy in the middle has guard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and we're going to do one to each of those guys. Coming at you. And then I'm going to sweeping strike to the guy in the middle, because I have to. He's guard. And hope I get two. Yeah, I get it. Oh, yeah. Got two. So we'll do two, and then I'll do one to the neighbor, and then I'll do one to this neighbor from his ability. Actually, I'll do both of them here. Right I'll on. leave that guy at one health. So hip-hop kid 
Doing it. Yep. Nice. Okay, and then Master Val goes, does nothing on Hideous Power, which Those is nice. Two. Thank you. Um, then I have some things here. This has guard, so I can't attack that. But I'm going to do... adjacent, does guard... So guard defends the this and across, right? It's like a plus sign. Yeah. Does adjacent mean that in terms of doing damage to other things? Uh, I think next to a lot of times is what it will say, if it's left or right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do, if you'll allow me. Uh, I'm going to play a Blade Blaster for one, two, three. So we're going to do two... Three. Is that here? I'm gonna do those two. Let me uh, let me offer you a suggestion. Okay. Do you, if you do one here, one here, and one here, that would be better. You can split it up however That's, you want. Yeah, it does not okay. affect me. It's a high it's a higher variance play, but I think it's going to work out for and us. And he goes away. Yeah. And this goes away. And then for my next trick, I'm gonna use the mastodon, and we're gonna remove this. Yeah. And you're going to go ahead and grab the bottom card on the Zord deck? Let's power up, man. Do, 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 do. Which, which one is it? Ooh, Kronos Hyperforce Megazord. What does that guy do? At the start of each battle, not good now, each participating ranger may search their deck or discard pile for a card and add it to their hand. If they do, they must shuffle their deck, and that's every battle. Okay, good. Every battle we get a card that we want. That's very good for my double up. Don't mind me. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> yeah, you are, because he's on the table. <laughs> okay, um, then Putty Patroller goes. Yep. And then I've got a shot. So I'm going to do a Krius Cannon. It's going to cost me one of my reserve power. It's four dice. And then if it defeats the target, it's going to do one next two. Okay. What do you think about that? That's fine. So I've got to do five across four dice. Now we could also play it a little bit more safe and do an attack here and then then do the final Krius Cannon there. Why don't we do that? Let me attack that thing first. Okay. Well, it's, there's guard there. That's the problem. You can't even attack that mm, thing. Yeah. That's, that is the problem. You want to do the three here instead and Let's, get rid of the guard like I originally was going to do? Or I, I think the, the better play is to do two there mm, and then attack knock there? this one out and do one there. Totally. Yeah, go Let's ahead. Let's do that. Because, of course, it's going to work out the way we think, right? Yes, it is. Did three. Three damage. Okay. So knocked out here, and Krius Cannon says do one to something adjacent, and that's going to be here. Then Putty Patroller goes. And then I've got a three die attack is the best that I can do. And then I'm pretty well tapped out. So I have a four die attack. That seems better. I mean, that's three cards off the boss. That's pretty Let's impressive. Let's do that. I'm going to pay one for Reckless Blow. I have to discard the top card of my deck. We're going to recover after this. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, four dice against the Hideous Power. Me Here we three. go. You got three. Oh, one. it's absolute brick town. Oh, my goodness. Give me, give me the red dice over there. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so then they get an action. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I can take it. I can easily I can go do for two. It. You think we got two? We got to get six cards to win the game. Yeah. Plus, if we get rid of that uh, effect, it's gone. So yeah, that's true. Next time. That's true. And that, that effect is nasty. Okay, here's the Ram Rush for one. It's a three die attack, and it needs to do two damage. And it did. Four. Lord. <laughs> Okay, get these out of here. Oh right, my so gosh. These are permanently gone. And this one goes back. And then the Putty Patrollers go back. Now we each have an action left, right? Mm hmm. So I think the absolute unquestionable thing to do is let's both go to the middle. Get all our cards back. But it's going to panic. I don't think so. One person there and five over there, and it's game over? So, yeah, five. I mean, you can use the Mastodon during deployment. We did learn that. So. Yeah. Well, and we the other thing is, like, there's no way we're going to defeat three of his cards right now. Like, I have one health left. Well, you could also... What does your recover look like if you just recover right now in the, in the spot, in the zone? I get six shields worth back in my deck. That's not enough. <clears throat> I think we're fine. Famous last words. Right? I don't want to lose. 
Uh, does this matter? I'm out of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just bad. Okay. Okay, powder. <laughs> I say we go back. I'm the information. All right, let's do it. Retreat. retreat. Tactical retreat. Look at Master Vile over there by himself. So we just need things to stack up at the juice bar, and everything's going to be fine. We'll go ahead and whoosh. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is better. How could we lose? How could we lose with such an impressive... So this should have been ultimately shuffled up and put at the bottom last time. And it was only one card. So we'll do that successfully now. Okay. And so we recover. And our Megazord is going to allow us to go in and get whatever we want. Do we have one we energy when we recover? Or do we get both. both reserves? I believe that. That's better for me. Let me look at the moves of the command center move. And then we've got Bacon and Feather. Don't forget, we've got them all. Yep. Wow. So as long as we don't panic out, which we easily could. This could definitely be the end of the road. Absolutely. You don't think you think you can split the blade the damage from the blade blaster? Pure energy? If it has guard? I don't know if that's true. Does that mean you can't attack or you can't target? I guess would be the question. I feel like no matter how we did that, we would have done it. It would have worked out okay. We'll have to look up the guard rules. Two energy when we go to the command. All right, good news, good news, good news. And what is uh, guard protects all adjacent enemy cards in the combat sequence from being targeted by ranger attacks? Yeah, so I don't, it's not targeting. Doesn't it say target up to th X? No, it just says, let me find it. How fastidious are the... Uh, this stack deals an amount of damage equal to the energy spent to play this card. You may divide this damage among any number of targets. Okay, maybe so. So maybe you can't target it. Maybe so, I don't know. Probably, probably. I think you're right. I feel like you're right, right. David, yes, you're correct. It has not, it is not here. Uh, where are the cards? Unless you go to the middle. You feel like it's over, Parker? I don't we'll think see. so. I think we're gonna get three deployments to Ernie's, uh, one or two each, and then a couple in the Zord graveyard. Might have to Mastodon. Don't sleep on the Mastodon. I mean, I think I should do that first thing, right? I guess. If it's going to panic out, it's, it's going to panic, panic out. I guess it's going to panic out. I'm just going to yeah. get rid of this guy. Okay. Doesn't even matter anymore, right? We're no, power level a we're, million. We're over 9,000. If 9, we can't 000. beat it now, we can't beat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here we go. Five deployments, and everything's going to be fine. Two to the Zord graveyard. Not a problem. Not great. Whoop, that's my cards. Ah, three to the resistance hideout. Uh, okay, so that's one, two, three. Great. Yep, still my card. Anything but the Zord Grave. Three to the Angel Grove Park. So we're going to go three here. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Why are there all threes? <laughs> when did that happen? Uh, and then it has to go one over, actually. How many we got in here? Five, because of the Master Vile. Does Vile count? Yeah. Oh, well, then we've lost for sure. That's not true. We need, we need ones. We need ones. We didn't get ones. How about two to Ernie's? Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Game is over. It's a bad way to lose, too. It's so bad. <laughs> How could we have done that differently? We would have had to attack last round. Oh, and there's three coming in. There's no way. I mean, there's no way. Average of eight. Yeah, let me see the stack. That was 13. That was 13 things coming out at us. Oh, what a devastating loss. Go, go, Power Rangers. So there's five ones in here out of 20. There's probably five of each in there. Depends Maybe not. Parents. Yeah, let's see. Do the math. It's the only thing that will satisfy me after this loss is breaking it down like a calculus professor. Nine twos. OK. And then the rest <laughs> are threes. So it's probably five threes. Well, no, you hit a lot of them here. Ouch. Dang. Ouch. Yeah, there's five threes, and we hit four of them. I think the problem was we did not stick to our plan of killing the boss the last fight. I don't think we could have, though. Like, let's just look at what would have come up. Drain six, not a big deal. Energy cost is increased by one, not a big deal. Fast six, six and six. Six and six. Could have handled that. 
six and six. Okay. Probably would have been tough. Hmm. We would have taken, I had one card in my deck and three in my hand. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, how many foot soldiers on average do we kill per action? Like, so a move fight, we kill four foot soldiers, let's say. I think what we probably should have done is I should have attacked the two before I moved. Mm -hmm. And then moved. Mm -hmm. And then I could have used the Mastodon on this space. And then, so that's minus three. Then I mastered on this space again. At the beginning, yeah. So instead of which we, we mastered on at the two. beginning. So that would have netted us what two, two more two soldiers. I think we were over by two. I think we would have just just panicked out, but that would have been the right thing to do. Because I had an extra action that would, didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. That's fascinatingly. It makes me want to pick it up again and play it immediately. That's probably the sign of a good game, right? Yeah. That's the sign of a good game. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. What do you think? Nine, to, nine to ten, two is the average deployment. That makes yeah, sense. Average of five one, five three is ten yeah. of the other. Oh, my gosh. This is The thing about this game um, is that you are always so close to winning and losing at the end. Somehow it's like tweaked to some some level of perfection where it's never a blowout and it's never easy. I feel like it's like because of the number of units that come out and the actions that you have every round, like it's going to be down, like there's if there's 10 coming out a round, you have to be super efficient to clear more than 10. That's crazy. So you're never yeah. making progress in that way. Yeah. And then the bosses come out and like I mean, I think the other thing is we could have ignored the Ranger Slayer mm -hmm. and just went around clearing. That's what I'm saying. So, like, at best, I guess we could just tread water until the main monster and comes just out. go after it. And then it's time to start cranking. Because I'm thinking, and two makes it a little bit difficult. Because in, like, three and four player, do you have, how many actions does everyone have? Two, I think. Two actions in three player? Yeah. But it's, it's six actions still, right? You're just across more people, so you have... But everyone in that mode only has 10 cards in their deck. Mm -hmm. So it's just a way different. We could do move, fight, move, fight, move, fight, and get three fights, whereas we could do move, fight, move, fight, move, move. It's like we don't have that third fight. You need really to fight available. wherever your one player is sitting. Yeah. That's why like, I could have fought before I left. Yeah. And if they had dropped five in there, that would have been better. Because then better. you could have cleared four. But nothing dropped over there. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. We, game. Also, we also took our first turn with one short action at this point. Yeah, like that's we true. We started with two instead That's why of we three. lost. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we, <laughs> we would have been totally fine had it not been for that fatal mistake. I mean, that, that would have helped, right? We would have gained a little extra ground up front. It is worth noting, and James, James, I agree. Uh, I think your dice were as cold as I've ever seen dice <sighs> in this game. It was bad. Mine, mine were bad, but yours were like... Bad. 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 <laughs> bad. I, I also have my old Destiny dice. <laughs> yeah, I, I also definitely made um, one. I think really big mistake that I didn't necessarily highlight because I didn't want to tell you I had the card yet. But the turn there was a card here that did all the damage to us, mm -hmm. and I rolled four dice against it, needing like three mm -hmm. damage, and I missed. Obviously, yeah. the the whiff we were talking about. Yeah. Um, but I also, if we had hit that, I think it's over. Yeah. Because then we have so we have like twice the cards in our deck. Yeah, but given that that's the truth. Yeah. Uh, I had Blade Blaster. I oh, could have just, just done paid it. three, yeah. but instead I wanted to pay zero and take a chance at hitting it. But it was a good, it was a good bet. Yeah, but if you have a card that if you defeat it, you're way more likely. Like mm -hmm. it's not worth the bet. Is my point. I I should bet on one of these cards and not on that card. Yeah, totally true. I agree. But I, if we had hit there, I think obviously it it's a kind of a, a gimme. Yeah, this is a sign of a good game though. I mean the fact that you know you can you can get better at it, you can talk about it, you can talk tactics. It it's dressed in a simple garment, you know? Like mm -hmm. it looks like, oh, this is a simple Power Rangers game. And underneath is such a nice little tweaked engine. It's like kind of a Ferrari down in the It's it's in the un guts. it's unexpected, right? It's yeah. it's like it pr it's easy to learn and easy to play, but then there's a depth to it that you aren't exactly ready for until you're in it. Yeah. We were close. I yep. could taste that victory. 
very devastating. Well, hey, speaking of devastation, if you guys want to get in on some of this devastation, <laughs> join the crew. Uh, no, this game is great. This it's really great. The only I think the the only misstep from Renegade for me was the time between launch and the second wave. I think that could have been tighter to maintain interest over time. But I also I get the sense that this is the kind of game that if you're playing it and collecting it, it doesn't matter. Like it could happen two years later and you'd be just as into it. Yeah, I mean I think because <clears> you play it likely with the same group of people, it's not like not having the stuff meant that like a meta got stale or like you know whatever but in this case when it's like okay now the next the next wave's coming out and it's not only adding a bunch of new elements to the game but it's also adding deck building which is cool next it, it makes all of this stuff worth even more it has a lot more value um, so that's a nice and you see they've already announced the thing after this which i think will come out uh, two or three months after the wave two stuff so they kind of have this cadence going and i think they're just going to keep going as long as people are playing and supporting this game. That's right. And we have we have some slots still available for subscriptions. I haven't checked since the stream has been up, but there's not many. It's v very few. So if you want the Phase 2 Kickstarter yeah. uh, products with the exclusives, um, now is the time to sign up. I'm going to go ahead and link to that. Um, but We're it, almost it, We're almost out. out. Yeah. And as far as I know, that's like the last opportunity to really get this stuff. And if you're unfamiliar with subscriptions, you sign up, you automatically get everything that comes out for this game, including the exclusives. Super simple, super easy. You don't get charged till a week or two before stuff comes out, and you don't have to worry about it. We, we take care of it. And also, the Phase 2 stuff come with the exclusive panic tokens. Yeah, we got these exclusive panics. These are inspired by some of the deep Zio uh, cuts that Jonathan was researching. It's the alarm in the uh, uh, command center, or what's acting like it in whatever he was looking at. And it's awesome. And it looks like a spinny alarm style thing. So it's a cool thing to have on your board whenever you go to play the game next. You get your phase two, you get an exclusive, three exclusive panic tokens in there. Then you can bring that to your next meetup and uh, be like, whoa, look at these. Have you seen what the parallax does with these, by the way? It makes it look like a kind Doesn't of Doesn't that look awesome? Yeah. It makes it, look, it looks like there's little, a bunch of different thing. dots, yeah. yeah. They're just swirling around. That's on purpose. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Yeah, that was I, really I'm, fun. I'm curious to learn about the deck building rules. Yeah, me too. Because I feel like that, that's the level of like personalization we're like right now, obviously, I'm playing with the Black Ranger cards and whatnot, and it's kind of really? fun because I don't have to try. Mm -hmm. I just show up, and I'm like, oh, what's that card do? Um, but I think the, for me at least, a lot of times, this is what happened when we played Sky Terror a couple weeks back. It's like when a game really gets in my brain and like makes me want to think about it is when I can start customizing it on that level. Mm -hmm. um, so I could imagine trying to figure out how, I mean, it's just 10 cards. How to build like, your Ranger. Crazy. I mean, that's yeah, really cool. Yeah. I love it. All right, well, hey, we're going to get out of here a little early. I, I, I wouldn't mind getting home a little early and, yep. and getting a nice dinner made before uh, my wife gets home. I'm into it. i got to pull so, this stuff away. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to have everybody on the stream here. Um, we know this game doesn't get as much attention probably as it deserves across the Internet, so we're happy to provide some, some gameplay and, and support it. Renegade continues to do awesome, awesome work in all of their endeavors, as far as I can tell. The art on this game, I think, won some awards. It was or best award. art in a board game and in 2019. It's, and it's not wrong, because the art and the flavor of everything happening here is so much better than it could have been uh, if you think about a Power Rangers game. So thanks for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Also on that note, just found out that when you're deck building, 20 shields worth of cards, same Ranger color. Wow. Cool. So we were kind of doing Perfect. it in a, in a weird way. I love it. But yeah, I uh, appreciate you watching. All right, thanks for joining us, guys. Until next time, keep playing.